All right, we're live. All right, so let's see. Uh, Out of Arbor, what we look at right now is a population of 1.8 million people, 91 square miles. Whoa, that's a big city. Temperate climate, which means it's about the uh, it's about the the high 90s. Really, San Francisco? Not mid 90s. Where's really San Francisco? Food? What's that in European temperature? Uh, it's... No idea. Um, I guess like 20, 25 ish, right? Um, does my book have a little uh, table on it? Let's see. No, nope, my other one does. Oh, no, oh, we do. Uh, okay, so it is about. Uh, we want to go with 35 uh, Celsius. I want to fucking. Know. Wow, what? No, it isn't. It is according to them, I think. It's 35? Jesus. That is fucking ludicrously hot. It's September. Okay, we'll go down a little bit. We'll go to 80. It is... September! 23. 23 Celsius. Hurst, you live on a desert. The highest temperature we see here in summer is 30. So, like, 87. Yeah. I'm used to Vegas, where it gets to, um... Let's see. In Vegas, like... 45. You get to 45 Celsius in Vegas. Dude, 80 is, like, super hot and almost worrying degree of fucking... Heat. Like eighty is a heat wave, and like ninety is is the hottest day of summer in like ninety percent of Europe. Okay, it's twenty five Celsius. It's like seventy eight degrees. Ninety five is like global warming confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what school are we in? Are we in the public high school? Yes, we're, we're in, in Silver Eagle Public High Schools, where you guys are uh, currently residing. Yeah. It is. September 7th, the first week of high school, freshmen's just coming in. <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but uh, I like how this is a city it's called Cedar, C Cheddar, C Cedar Valley. Cheddar. It's, 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 a, it's called Valley, and it's yet, it's on a peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Cedar Valley itself is inside a, um, a valley. It dips down the terrain. I don't know. All right, make a first story so we can do some uh, story stuff. And so, like I said, this game, we're going to go with uh, kind of reactions, what you guys do. So we'll do some of the plot. So let's see. Let's do some more things. Mr. Reginald is your classroom teacher. Mr. Reginald. What's his nickname? What does he teach? Baldy. Baldy? Because Mr. Reginald Egg. is going bald. Mr. Egg, actually. Is Mr. Name. Egg, alright. They call him Egg. His they call him Egg. His Egg, yeah. Northern Lion confirmed a teacher in the school. Alright. Nice. Okay, so, we're gonna have one thing. So, you guys will have at least one class together. So, you guys decide. What class is it? English. Uh, no. That's, <laughs> there's no English in high school. There's, there's literature. Oh, there's English in American high school. <laughs> oh, there, there is? Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, you, you can do, like, a shop class. You can do a, um... How do you do, like, a cooking class for all I fucking care? We don't know how to... We don't really know how the, how the system works. Cause, can we like, roll for it? In, in Poland? In Poland, the way it works is you have a class, and then that class has all classes together, and that's how it works. Yeah. Oh, so in this one, um, well, we're going by what I used to do. I'm pretty still the same, but every class is an hour longer, 45 minutes longer, and then you go to the next class based on different teachers. Yeah, so. Our classes weren't, like, split up. Like, your schedule was set by the school, and you couldn't change it in any way, and it yeah. was the same for the entire class for the entire year. Well, we're going by I know, so it's on the GM. We're going by my there style. Only, there were only certain subjects where you would split because people, yeah, different people like choose different subjects. Yeah. yeah. But there were core ones, like 80% of, of the subjects that were like, core like, that you couldn't... Like English, math, and other shit, you were with your entire class or most of them. And then for optional subjects, just go with other people who chose the same subject yeah. because... Well, only, only like, yeah, well, whatever. Just to make it easy, we'll make a shop class. Mechanics. We have, we have shop no class. idea, we have no idea what shop class is as a concept. What is a shop class? A shop class Hello? is pretty much, from well, what I did, is a place where they just have a teacher that doesn't really teach, but just shows how to use mechanical tools, work on cars, oh, yeah, work on stuff like that. 
So work. They just throw you with a bunch of hardware tools and like they do the box or something. And you just cut wood. Yeah, I mean it could be uh you can do woodworking, you can do metalworking, stuff like that. I suck at metalworking. So to prepare to prepare you to be a construction worker, pretty much. Oh god. But that is your class that is together. With egg, oh, Mr. Reginald. Why don't we make it like extended history or something? Because that seems like a class that everybody would have to be forced to take and like coerced into taking for some reason, and but never really want to go to. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll be the second classroom then. You got two classes together. Fates yeah. are interwining, intertwining. Extended history. What's his name? Mr. and Mrs. Who should it be? Probably a female, because there's more female teachers. Mrs. Newton. No. Miss Newton. Shouldn't she be teaching physics? No, we'll make it Mrs. Churchward. She gets no, 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 no. New Newton is perfect. Everybody's gonna keep asking her. Shouldn't she be teaching physics with that kind of name? And like, I like, get that joke all the time. Stop it. All right. It would get really tiring, wouldn't it? If if you Newton, if, if your name is Newton and you fucking talk history. Possibly. Like year after year with fucking freshmen in high school, you'd be like, stop making the joke, okay? I've heard it so many times. Miss Tilt. <laughs> every time she That's gets angry. Every time she gets angry, she like tilts to one side. Alright. Six yeah. classes per day. Two of them are together, and we're not gonna worry about uh, what times or maybe you'll come to play later on. But for right now. We are going to be in extended history being taught by Mrs. Newton. Is it the type of school where we actually have lockers and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sick, dude. <laughs> hey, bully, get inside the locker. <laughs> that probably happens. In fact, the first week you saw the, the ones that are going to be the bullies of this generation. Let's see. What's his name going to be? What's one that stands out? Ron. His buddy, Harry. No! And then... No. And, then, uh, and, then, and Ron's sister, Hermione. And, 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 and Neville, dude. Neville was there, too. Yeah, Neville! And they're bullying, they're bullying Malfoy. And... <laughs> yes! Alright. Harry, it is, as well as Ron. And the girlfriend that is with Harry is Hermione. Oh, snap. Ron got oh. cocked. The way it's the way it's meant to be. Oh no! Don't even. Which means the victims of the bullies. Malfoy, Snape, Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore. 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 <laughs> oh, that's his nickname. No, be such a teenager called Dumbledore. Dumbledore, Dumbledore, but they call him Dumbledore. Oh. Uh... More like double dork. <laughs> Double dork. <laughs> Double dork it is. <laughs> so, oh, I, I, on your way to class. Have, on your way to cl so we'll do this. On your way to class after coming back from Mr. Reginald's or the eggs shop class, on the way to Mrs. Newton's, you witnessed the the local school bullies, Harry and Ron with Hermione standing back, Ron making fun of Hey, Double Dork! Look at those four glasses you got, and just kind of poking them, roughing up, and he shoves them to a locker. Just being bullies, and you have the uh, other kids kind of just do what they usually do. They just kind of make way, don't pay attention, just go on like nothing ever happened. While Malfoy is being roughed up, and he gets his uh, lunch money taken, about to protest, and he gets shoulder checked by Ron into the locker, while Double Dork is roughly shoved inside. Ah, the fresh populace of the local of the local. I wouldn't want to be one of Harry and Ron are going to be. Let's see. Should they be juniors or should they be um or sophomores or they yeah, juniors? Juniors or seniors? They're actually twenty years old. They're just hanging around this, <laughs> this school. They should be older than us. Yeah, we'll make them juniors. One year older than you guys. Seventeen. 
And then, you know, as time goes on, one of them will actually get superpowers and be like, What? I can do... I can become bigger bully than this? He becomes a super bully. There's gonna be we no longer have villain. super villains, we have super bullies. Yes. It's like an antagonist that just grew in power. Because... And, then, and then super villains are just hyper bullies. Okay, so we can do some world building with the uh, the main heroes in the same. But let's talk about it real quick. So, when did superpowers start to arrive in the world? When did it start to appear? Well, that's a good question. Do we have our superpowers and we're aware of them? Or are yes. We going to have... can, wait, you guys are aware of your own powers, but for what the purpose is, no one in the high school has powers. Or it's not wait, known wait, if anyone wait, has wait. powers in the high school. Can we go like Watchmen, where they were like pop super popular during the fifties and sixties, and then after a while they just sort of died off? Sure. And then so now it's it, like eh, it's just a niche. There was a ri ridiculous research, like surge of, of superheroes, and like everybody was super hyped about them because of communism or whatever and the Cold War. But now everybody's calmed down and like just just get out of here, just. Like, everybody started becoming disillusioned, like, hey, there's superpowers and stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. 9-11 happened, except it was the supervillain. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would just make superheroes even more popular. Instead, 9-11 happened, but it was an accident, and a superhero accidentally caused it, because he was trying to protect everyone, and he just, like, fucked everything up. And yeah, everybody's that, that like, happened. No, superhero. okay, so we say is, they were saying there was a malfunction with the plane on, I mean, I don't want want to clear them the game that might be a little too much for people no well no, so no, just something just... like 9-11 something no there was a, there was a big disaster and it was caused by a superhero who was trying yeah. to protect he was trying, he was trying to, he was trying to protect it but and it caused an issue that actually killed people which caused people to kind of dislike superheroes and everybody was like well i just just give it a rest okay you're like everybody's overdoing things and as a result innocent people are getting hurt instead so, and also because there's been no real actual super villain for the heroes so the Hooperos, for yeah, the most part, have took on small things, and maybe it just helped out, like, small gang or criminal activity, but there's been no actual supervillain at all, ever, in, so um, in the world. So there's been no supervillain. not be in the spotlight. They were like, whatever, I'm just going to operate in the shadows. I'm not a retard. Yeah, there's, been no, there's never, never been a public supervillain. Do we know which superhero that caused the accident, what their power was, so that, so that the power might be, like, looked down upon for causing the incident? Uh, Actually. well, I've, okay, if we've saved a disaster, no, it's not, I don't want to, I don't want to make it towards 9-11, because I had actually had some people that no. I did died there. Um, let's make it a giant train accident. Okay. Because those can be pretty deadly. Uh, so make it a train accident that happened, um, in another part of the country. Now... No, 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 it was in a big city, and the, Okay, okay, it happened in a big city. Even so, what was his name? What was his superhero name? Superman. <laughs> no, like, Super dude. Nah. We also need to like mention what power it was. Mr. Majestic. So maybe, so maybe like people look down upon us like, oh, that power. Level 20 power. flight. What it was power? Mr. Majestic. And let's see. So what, what do you look down upon now when you think about Mr. Majestic? Well, depending what power he, what power he was good at, people will look like, oh yeah, the power that caused that tragedy, yeah, fuck. Yeah, Mr. Majestic, he's arrested right now. <laughs> he, he's in the prison. Yeah, he's, he's in, in prison. prison. Yeah, so he's the reason why a lot of people died, so they put him in prison, so... Let's see, obviously, to stop a train, you need to have super strength, so he has super strength. Okay, but that's a bit, like, you know, not specific, like, maybe, like... Super, super strength and flight. Maybe like matter control? <laughs> We're literally making Superman. Super strength and flight. Maybe, yeah, he was Magneto. Maybe matter control. No, like Magneto, he could control. Like, bend metal and stuff. Alright, so super strength Mag with magnetic control. Alright, Jesus. So, fuck magnetic control. We'll say that he accidentally messed up the rails, which what which would cause the train to derail. When he was trying to, when he was trying to stop the train, he actually uh, then, damaged then, the rails and caused it to flip. And then he did stop the train, but he stopped it so good that everybody in the train died because of G-forces, because he didn't stop it, like, slowly enough. And it also like, had, it was... I don't want to make a stupid superhero. Content. No, it's not stupid. It was a panic situation where the train was about to hit into, like, a middle of an open what is, road. Because, so okay, like, we'll do this. Because supers have been new to the world, they haven't been around for a long time, they're new, so he's inexperienced when he did this. Yeah, so it was, okay. a, it was a catch-22 situation. Like, he was so used to being able to stop on a dime and everything, and that didn't, like, hurt him in any way. He didn't consider that 
if you stopped the train too hard, like, the people inside would just get squished anyway. Oh, did you see the expanse yesterday? No, I didn't, because I was going to... Uh, the entire day today, I was waiting for... I, I was sleeping in well, the you need to watch it and get back to me on it, then. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, either way, Mr. Majestic, who had the powers of super strength, flight, and magnetic control, ended up stopping the train, uh... A little bit too abruptly, which ended up causing death. It was a, it was a catch twenty two situation. If he didn't stop it, then it would have flown into a highway and then like still kill people. So like, no but then they would see that he like stood do. by to do anything. So either way, he was just going to be the downfall of uh, supers yeah. for the time he being. Pulled, he he he's he's the guy that pulled the lever in the in the trolley situation. The fool he was. And then and then and then lo and behold, technically it is turned out actually it is murder. <laughs> So, for the most part, supers aren't really looked, uh, people are obviously going to be jealous of supers, people are obviously going to want to have the powers, but for the most part, the general population consensus is they're not worth the power, and they obviously would have to say, people would want them locked up, kind of like how they're the X-Men stuff goes on. They're unnecessary. Yes. Like, sometimes, like, the, obviously in small And it goes back to the thing, there's been no supervillain. Why would you need superheroes if there's no villain to combat? Like usually, the further you're detached from the super, the super. Wait, no, sh sh shouldn't it be more like people fear uh, superheroes because there might be a supervillain? No, I don't... like that. Nah, I think I think it's just like every like it's it's the it's the inherent like fear that they're just in it to be famous, and as a result, they don't care what actually happens to people. And we say there could be actually people that have done that, where they got the powers, but they're just greedy, and so they used it to. Not do uh, fun yeah, things. Or they do things where, like, they rescue someone, they make a pay to rescue them. All right, so we're going with that. Uh, is, is this still like a thing that they were popular like during the Cold War? Yeah, because like, fuck. That's that's that's, that's when they appear. That's when Super started appearing. All right. And we'll go by the the tradition classic where a comet flew close to the Earth with sprinkling of space dust behind it. None, immediately none afterwards. Immediately afterwards, people with power started appearing. And then a symbiote from the meteorite <laughs> appeared on the planet. And someone became Vanum. <laughs> nah, that's... But, uh, so, like, Mr. Majestic, given his name, he was probably very, like, you know... Like, he, hey, he, look he, at me, I'm a superhero. Yes. Yeah. He's fucking he, Mr. He was, Majestic. He was a physics professor that stumbled upon a concoction mixed with like some you know meteorite shit and then it just blew up in his face and then he basically become pa pa Watchmen. puff girl yeah <laughs> or, or the guy from the watchman the the watchman the whatever his name was mr uh, it could be up to Dr. debate there there could be debate on how they gain their powers whether it's a genetic um, uh abnormality or if it's something with a comet the dust whatever no one really knows it's been studied to it but no one's really decided or figured out how People gain the powers, not getting the powers. And if it's been studied, it's very hush hush. Yeah. No, by the government and everything. But now everybody's like, whatever, like they're not worth the trouble, the superheroes. Although, the further away you are from a superhero, the more like you have that kind of mindset. But generally, in like New York or whatever, for example, if, if it's a local superhero, then then usually people are like, yeah, he's doing a good job. Like, he just saved me from a mugging like yesterday. Right? Until he fucks up. Until they fuck up, and yeah. then at that point, everybody's like, you know... Throw him in jail. Get out of here, damn superhero. We don't need you so, here. All it takes is one with mistake. With that, yeah. who is the local superhero in Auburn um, Arbor that is looked decently upon? I got, I, got, I got you, dude. Iron Horse. Okay. He made a statute, he made a statute <laughs> in his name. <laughs> He's an old guy from the fifties. Iron he's Horse. A half, he's, he's a, a man. yeah. He's he's he's, man, he, he's an old he's an old <laughs> and like nearly retired superhero who's who's been working in the Cold War and he's never made a mistake. So he's just like this kind of mild kind of helping the granny cross the road or like stopping <laughs> random muggings, but he's never gone like to like super hardcore levels of superhero. So he's, he's never had a chance. He's never had a chance to mess up in any like significant way. That's got a really bad thing. To... Read my notes. I actually put iron hose. Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he that. also That's wears a fifties uh, style land. Uh, what's it called spandex suit. 
Also, he's a half man, half horse, and he's wearing DLC horse armor. <laughs> no. Uh, Iron Horse, though, we'll say that he rides a, um... It makes sense. He rides a motorcycle. He's not riding a damn horse around the city, but... Oh, is it, is it summonable? Sure. He's, he, he summons a motorcycle. He's, he's Ghost Rider, dude. He's Ghost Rider, dude, but he's good. It's not a flying bell motorcycle, either. It's just a super motorcycle. But it's pretty yeah, much going to be, like... Maybe like dirty chrome, or just all chromed out, or just all iron steel. So it's like a giant Harley. It's all like rusty, like a rusty bicycle. Like, hey, it's iron, I guess. I mean, I can't. I mean, it's it's, it's getting rusty over the years, you know. What I'm saying? No, I mean, it's summons it, so it's not like an actual physical vehicle. It's physical, for, for but you can summon it. So for a moment, I had that dumb idea. Why not just Bojack Horseman? I never seen it, so. But Colossus, right? <laughs> So he's just like, he's just a dude with a horse head, but he's made of fucking steel. <laughs> the Minotaur? No, the, yeah. like Colossus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Whatever. Oh yeah, either way, uh, that's probably enough to work on. We have one main guy in the, the city, Iron Horse. We'll say it's a mid-aged guy and just does uh, small stuff, but he rides the, um... What's his powers? Besides riding the motorcycle. So it can't be his his locomotion is the bike. So nothing movement wise. What's his power? Um, he has super he has super speed like a horse. He can no, run a don't need that because uh, the motorcycle is gonna be his uh, lo is gonna be his movement. So okay, super strength. I think I think he's just like he has iron arms. Like he's just steel arms, right? Yeah, we do that. So he has uh, okay iron arms. No, he's just pure iron. Very generic. Yeah, but that's just Colossus. Yeah. Just yeah I know. So it's just his arm. He's like, uh, what, Ajax? Or the guy from uh, Mortal Kombat? Um, so it's still yeah, arms Jax. with strength. So he's like Jax. He's like two metallic arms. It's yeah. Like... <laughs> okay. Um... And he's kind of like Punisher, but like not extreme. What do you mean the fuck? No. Do you mean, like, no, like I said, killing. there's still a back in setting, so it's, there's really like there's almost like no actual like super death in the center. We're playing, we're still playing like lighthearted, so so yeah, Firestorm might be a little off the table. He just he, he just beats up people yeah. that he thinks are not okay. If he just like leaves them there and ties them up for police, yeah, and, he, and, super, and everybody's super old school, and everybody likes him a lot because he because because he's particularly hates politicians and like the the amount of distrust towards politicians. Is is so high around here that he well, sometimes it, he sometimes Punisher, pulls instead of the Punisher, he's just basically a Rorschach shark from. Oh Watchmen. my god! No, he's not. Yes, he is. I was thinking where it was like the Joker instead. The Joker. No, what was his name? Scarecrow. No, the guy from um, Watchmen. Oh, the the joke. Wouldn't it be better for him to just be like a non-funny Deadpool? He could he could be the joke from Watchmen. Either way, if like, oh, you that's hear Miss Newton go in class, that is why supers have been nothing but a deterrent and have been a nuisance ever since they have appeared in the fifties when they first showed up. And just to coincide with her talking about supers. You hear the loud roaring thunder of the unmistakable noise of Iron Horse's motorcycle in the background. And a lot of the kids end up going to rush into the windows because kids must still want to be superheroes. So kids are excited. So the kids in the classroom rush to the windows to see Iron Horse. And lo and behold, in the distance with the road that's going... Uh, around or next to Silver Eagle High School, you see Iron Horse on his motorcycle, giant gleaming steel arms as he's riding, going super fast, leaving a trail of dirt, and he's destroying the pavement behind him or the road as he's going really, really fast, like a blur. And in front of him, you see a vehicle. We well, see a truck. It is a flower truck 
and you see on the side of the fire truck that's driving erratically. And it's like I'm thinking of like a giant. It's an armored fire truck. It's an armored flower truck. Delivering old granny's flowers that delivers in a in an armored truck. And you see that this truck is swerving through traffic, hidden cars smashing them into streets and other cars. Obviously, this thing is on a runaway pace. And you see a guy in the driver's seat leaning out, shooting a pistol at Iron Horse. Iron Horse, you see bullets just ping off him. Even though it's still arms, his flesh seems to be also resistance. In fact, one of the bullets ricochet and strikes with a small ping, because it hasn't had the momentum no more. Um, probably the pane glass window. And so the students go, ah, and rush back a little bit. A little crack appears on the window. Iron Horse guns the uh, the engine on the bike and goes next to the armored truck and literally just really? grabs the tire. The front oh, tire shit. of the truck, and it just flips over on itself. What the fuck? You okay? Yo! Yo! I'm uh, I'm taking this opportunity to sneak eating chi- like like potato chips. I'm sitting at my seat. Here, <laughs> here, crutch, 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 crutch. No, 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 like stealthily. You okay. know how you eat potato chips in class? You've, have you never eat done that? Like when the teacher is <laughs> yes, yes, looking, I've done it. Have... I've done it, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I've done yeah. You, you 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 have your, you have your bag kind of like concealed in the in in your in your bag or something or like behind some books. And well, say, well, see, in your away. desk, you see your desk has a place to put books on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, Usually yeah, in the yeah. elementary it's school, most of high schools, you got these desks. They have a place. We'll say the the, the top of the desk lifts and up. I quietly, I quietly like crunch them with my tongue so that it doesn't like make noise, and I just like I just you know I eat. And once again, Miss Newton, you see, class, this is the reason why. Look at the street. Look at the damage that Mister Iron Horse has done. One of the kids goes, "He's not Mister Iron Horse." Stupid. And uh, you hear, you hear one of the female students fucking wooing. Woo! I want to be like that guy. Calm down, calm down. Get back to get, get back to your seats. Come on. And a, and a small chant begins. I run a horse. I run a horse. Yeah, <laughs> he's excited in that class. <laughs> And, uh, if Mrs. you don't settle Mrs. down, Newton. I'll give everyone detention for the Mrs. next Mrs. two Newton. days. Mrs. Newton has a fucking, like, hammer that you use in a courtroom, and she slams the desk with it. So that's loud, her... loud bang on the... That's her, on that's her, her table. Thing. Like, cool. Fucking... So, it, sparks fly out from the, uh... Um... Order in the classroom. <laughs> sparks fly out from the, um... That's not the gravel. Then she hits down, and all the students go, all right, and they'll go back there with the threat of detention. With the start of the high school year, all the kids reluctantly get back. And that's the image that we see from Iron Horse. It's him dragging the um, the conscious body. Let's say we're just gonna be a lot harder setting. He drags the uh, the conscious people out of the uh, the flipped over armored flower truck and ties them up. And then you hear the roar of the engine as the bike takes off again. Was was uh, Miss Newton like angry? During that moment, or was she just lecturing us? With no Give me, <laughs> if those are paying attention. Give me a um. A, oh, I want to see if she was tilted. Yeah, give me a um a notice. Uh, I keep saying pool for yeah for Star Wars. Give me a, um a notice check. Ooh wee! Berry beef is eating chips. I am. I'm gonna take this potato chip and eat it. But but was she angry? Was she was she tilted? No, actually, you notice that she has a sidelong glance out the window. She she kind of oh, she kind of stares God. a little bit longer than all the students at the image of Iron Horse as he drives away. There's a crush on the guy, dude. Uh, I was gonna make a joke. That she's sinking. Cause she's tilted. Oh man. What was her name again? Yeah. Mr. Newton. Mrs. Newton. Mrs. Newton. Yes. Mrs. Newton. Start a shan saying Mrs. Newton's got a crush on. Iron Horse. <laughs> oh God! You, oh, you, you, I need to, I need to check it. I need to know you guys' names because you're about to get a um. Something's about to happen. So I need you guys. I need to know you guys' actual uh, names. So, so Barry B, that's your actual Mike, name. Mike yes. Jason. Okay, so. Mike Jason. Jason what? 
Mike Jason. Oh, my, oh Mike, Jason. Okay, Mike Jason. Mike Jason. <laughs> Mike Jason. <laughs> nice, name. <laughs> nice name, dude. Mike Jason, you have detention now for the next two days. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna polish my blade in these two days. Yeah, nobody knows about that quite. Yeah, so, oh, the three of you have powers. You Maybe you developed powers a year ago, maybe you had them for a little bit longer, but for the most part, because you know the reaction people have, you know what people think about supers, you keep them hidden. All right. During class, for the most part, Miss Newton tries her hardest to teach a nice class, but the, the mood in the class is still of Iron Horse, and people still talk about Iron Horse and kind of... You hear, you hear the rumors of, like, you say one kid in the class, and you know, his name is Billy. Billy! I'll say Billy Bob. We'll go with Billy Bob. Billy, Billy Bob. Bob. goes, oh, 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 man, what, what, what kind of power name. would I have? Uh, I'd love to... Be able to see through clothes. I can look into a girl's locker room. Who's he talking to? Is he talking to Mike? He's talking to himself, probably. He's talking to Barry yeah. Beef. <laughs> mm. Everyone ever likes a big fat kid. He's talking to Barry Whatever. Beef. I don't care. I don't. I don't care about superpowers. They're stupid. What? What you mean? You could If you could take one power, what would you take? Uh, uh, can I stay at home and do nothing all day? That's a stupid power. Or, or maybe, power. maybe you can stay at home and have something, something similar to yourself do the class for you. Oh, that would be so awesome! Sit there and play video game to have my clone do the uh, the class. Oh, that'd be that'd be so great. <laughs> what if, what if one of Billy Bob? Of you have detention also. Shit, you have detention for two days now, and just <laughs> just get angry now. <laughs> I shan't thought, well, welcome to the club! One more oh. peep out of you! Shit, I can't remember your name. Uh, Mike, Mike Jason. Mike and Jason. one more day! Can you not remember this? <laughs> Damn it. One more peep! Now I add more days to your detention. I, I, I want to like Snicker without her knowing who's Snickering. And with a radar glance, she turns her eyes and stares at you, Mia. Mia, you're not allowed to laugh at other students. You also have a day of detention. Oh, I wasn't laughing. I was joining in the fun. <laughs> That's two days detention now. Wait, what? Uh, one more for the club, right, guys? Then who's gonna who's gonna be the rat? Miss Miss Newton, what does this have to do with physics? And why aren't you tilting yet? I swear, every time I should have picked a different major. Barry Beef, Wait. you also have detention. What? Why? You know why. This is how you fucking learn. Make it in front of my name. Wait, this is a history class? It's a board nation! You have two days detention now! What? I didn't do anything! Because you're not paying attention. I'm, I'm not thinking oh, character. Oh, man! Alright, and with that, um... I'm not thinking character. I wasn't doing it, you know... Just Mickey! Too. Mickey, I... Mickey raises his hand really quick. He's a really skinny kid. Greasy hair, unwashed. He goes... Miss Newton, Barry's eating chips. I am not I'm doing no such thing. <laughs> As he's, <laughs> he's chewing. And I, I like, no, no, no. As, I, as I present the bag out of my bag and, and show that it's, it's empty. empty. There's no <laughs> chips here. <laughs> but she walks over to you, Barry. And in your... So you have like a ravenous hunger, or are you just eating right now? So you have some uh, chip crumble on your fingers maybe, or on the desk, on the ground, or around your desk, and he goes, Cheetah, mm. cheetah does. Yes. It's cheetah does. And also, you'll be vacuuming the entire classroom on this floor, young man. What? But I have baseball practice. Well, I guess I'll have to send a note to... Well, what's the baseball teacher's name? Um, 
Sawamura. No! It's not Japanese. Sports coach. Split Creek. I want to make it so that he actually pays me to be on the team. And that's how I get the money for all the food that I eat. He bribes you. <laughs> all right. Um... Yeah, because cause, cause I'm the home run king. Because I swing, I, I, sw- I, I smack so many home runs. So he's like, just to make the team good, he pays me to be on it. Because otherwise I wouldn't bother. Mr. Haynes. Haynes. And nobody knows that he pays me. Because obviously yeah. that's illegal as fuck. All right. She goes... <laughs> I'll send a note to Mr. Haynes that you'll be mess practice after class today, after school today. All three of you will have to spend detention with me for an hour after school. Sounds amazing. And with that, there's no more interruption. No one wants to be in detention the first week of school. And so the class resumes and ends in the the 40 minutes. <laughs> and I just thought that this is a physics class. <laughs> The rest of the day goes by pretty fun. We'll say that uh, shop class might have been uh, first or second period, or it's early in the day. We'll say Mr. Newton's class is going to be later in the day. And so you go to the rest of your classes. You got spread out, making go to lunch. You try to do your own dues, try to make friends, or just be shy or be uh, gothy or edgy, however you guys want to be. At the end of the day, the bell rings. Class gets let out, and everyone... Goes home, talking about video games, playing the next games, the Call of Duty 17, whatever the hell it's going to be right now, and everything else. And you all reluctantly go to Mrs. Newton's class for the hour of detention. Excuse me, no one plays Call of Duty 17. It's all about Fortnite these days. Yeah. Fortnite was bought out by uh, Activision, or EA. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I'm not surprised. The, not, not, I'm not even surprised. Fortnite is now yeah. a DLC to Call of Duty. Pay to win. In fact, if you have instant, if you spend five bucks in a match, you automatically win right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ooh, love that money. So people complain about starting a match and instantly somebody, just have, you lose. If somebody, if somebody else pays five bucks, then it starts to be an auction. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to go home and play Legacy Servers of Fortnite? It's without all the pay to win bullshit. It's just like season four, man. It's all good. So when people put more money than someone else, it's like, it's like a stack. Like the money is put on the stack. And if someone doesn't respond, then the person who paid the more, uh, the most of the of the last stack wins the game. Anyway, that's out, like, that's outside, no. the, outside the scope of the game. So that's literally called an auction. So at if you all enter into Miss Newton's class after school, you look out the window, seeing all the kids getting picked up by the parents. Some are walking home. Some are going to the street. The street is now being repaired by repair crews. The iron horses and motorcycle damaged. And oh, yeah, inside sure. Miss Newton's class, there's three of you. Three individuals, a girl okay. and two boys. I say boys now because you guys are fucking young. So for the first time, you guys get to describe me, yourselves you to each other. Did you just assume my gender? Don't even start with this shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can see Barry sitting on, on like on the desk with his arms like put in like a you know how it's a praying position when you like put them together, and like he's 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 resting his arms on this on his desk, looking down very intently, like he's. Like he's very focused on something, and and he's almost like you know in anime how like somebody's got a serious face, so there's a shadow over the face. Like that's that's the position I'm in. And what's happening is I'm very carefully considering how the fuck am I going to survive an hour without having a chance to eat something. Uh, he hears he hears as a uh, quick demo. Here's stomach actually growl from that. Mm-hmm. And like I'm starting to get visible shakes from withdrawal. <laughs> you, you, can, you can see. Like I'm, like, you can see I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> you can see uh, Maya playing with a pencil as she is putting her feet on top of the desk and just lazy and just you know having her attention on the pencil and one of Is it fingers. Maya? I thought it's Mia. Whatever, Mia. Sure. Can't even pronounce his own name. What is this? <laughs> and as I as I notice this, uh, can I Benny that I have like a packet of crisps on me? 
Now that's not the problem. This teacher is staring, and there's only three people. There's no way I can conceal how I'm eating. Now she goes. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, gentlemen and lady, you three will now for this myself. hour write down the the angles of the reason why. Hey, let's make a history lesson. 13th century economics. What? If you turn to page 135 of book 7, you can start. I, I like One hour. The book doesn't have a name. The book doesn't have a name, it's just a number. I'm actually glad that I have a task. And with so that, will very... she'll actually go and pay attention, and you actually notice that she's actually kind of playing on her cell phone. As you guys are just chilling there now. Oh, shit, wait. Alright, so back, so start... back to you guys describe yourself. So, Demo, go back to describe yourself. But yes, if you want to, Demo, you can use a Benny to uh, get a bag of Cheetos. You know what? No, don't, you don't need a Benny, because your Benny's are going to be used for a lot of stuff in this game, so... I have, I have, I have a bag of things with me. Okay, but... okay, instead of Cheetos, I want a bag of sunflower seeds that I'll just eat. Okay. Uh, well, you know, like, again, I'm gonna have, like, my legs on the table, on the table, and just have the book with one hand, and then my left hand just playing with my pencil, like, rotating it around. I, uh, I, I use the, I use the assignment as, as, as a way to distract myself from the fact that I can't eat, and I will very, and, and Barry to himself thinks that he's very clever. He's going to very intelligently rewrite every single word that is written in the book on the subject, like, yeah, that's... This is how that works. Like, this is going to be a perfect essay. <laughs> also, also, Barry can hear the, me crunching on some flowers. Also, Barry, are you bald? Uh, sure, why not? Okay. So, so Barry, you can also hear me crunching on sunflower seeds, as you usually people do. You know, you hear it in the room. Me crunching oh on sunflower seeds. The fucking, you're so slab, dude. You just bought a fucking <laughs> sunflower seed. Oh my god. <laughs> That's, that, that, that's what Polish people do. I'm so I'm currently so proud of myself for figuring out this perfect plan of getting uh, a, a great assignment completed that I'm not even like paying attention. Luckily, <clears throat> I'm um, sitting in the back of the class, stealthing and playing my Nintendo Switch. Like I have the book standing up, and I'm leaning back in the chair, so it looks like I'm reading, but I'm actually holding my like the controllers. Beneath the chair and looking at the Nintendo Switch screen. All right, give me a second. So it looks like I'm doing work. And then we're gonna oh, have no. uh, Miss Newton glance up to see what you guys are doing, and she's going to go ahead and do a roll. Ooh, are you gonna get confiscated? We're about to find oh, out. No. Okay, we need skills. Oh, Let's see, where's the skills tab at? I wonder what type of teacher she is. Is she gonna like take it and never give it back, or like take give it back at the end of the class? Well, you I. She's the type that to call the parents to receive the thing back. Oh, oh shit. Miss Newton looks up at uh, at everyone, looks at you, Mike Jason. Or just I'm just called Mike. At you, um <laughs> No, because I don't want to say Mike yeah. Mike Jason. So Mike Jason, uh just Jason, just okay, go so, with Jason. Otherwise it's gonna be extremely confusing. Yeah, so we'll go with um or we'll call yourself Jason Mike. The Japanese way. So, Jason, she looks at you, Jason, um, Jason, and she kind of glanced at you for so a, for, a, for about a few more seconds, and then she goes back to playing on her phone, texting. You see her small, the side of her mouth, and that has been the first two minutes of class. So she has no issue with the crunching sound of sunflower seeds. The sunflower seeds don't make crunching noise. Yeah, the they're pretty soft. Well, you know, you know, like when when you hear someone eat them, eat them, you like you hear it, and then like a small no, room, a small class. You don't room, hear it. You don't. That's why you can eat it in class, because no one hears it. Sunflower anything. seeds are extremely soft. Yeah. And if you eat them, if they're still shelled, what you do is you you like eat them while while they have the shell, and then you separate the seed by biting on it. And What's the in your mouth? Yeah. Okay, and then so, you spit out the shells while you while you. Alright, uh, so them. one person I knew fucking made them sound so loud. So I'm assuming. He no, it's probably it's him then, or her, whoever that person was. They must have had like brittle teeth or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I just, I just assumed that, okay, I guess this is the sound they make. Because he was eating a lot of them. Alright then. Guess I'm good then. What is he fucking Russian? What happened? I, I don't know, dude. It's a Polish fucking guy. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh god. I don't know him anymore, but He's like... legitimately you know. Slav as fuck. <laughs> Alright. After about... Now, during the detention for the hour, after about 15 minutes passes, what's everyone doing? Also, uh, can I make a point sure. very quickly? I think that it should be legally assumed, or like there should be some kind of legal code about, like for example, if you have super strength or something, like you're forever banned from being in sports or or, or being a wrestler oh, yeah. oh, or yeah. a boxer, right? If it's, just, if it's ever just... known that you have powers, then yes, you're banned. If you are doing it to hide it, like you're pretending you don't have super strength, but you actually do, if it's ever found out. Pretty much you get everything disqualified and all your awards get taken away and stuff like that and you pretty much get barred from everything else, so. I mean, if you're an adult, like if you're a child, it's pretty natural for sometimes for them to like, I not realize, like you, know, you just have super even children strength. because the parents don't want to have their children go out to get to super. But luckily, there's not many people known as uh, supers that are children, so. No, but it's more of like a situation you're a kid and you have like a super, like you have super strength, right? Yeah. You don't know that you have super strength, really. Like you're just strong, right? Like what kind of comparison do you have, right? So like you, you end up going to, to boxing school or whatever, and it's only much later that you realize, actually, this should not be physically possible. Well, let's look at your base skills right now, your base attributes. So a six is considered average, the average human. So average everyday teenagers will be seven or will be a six-sided die. Uh, A-side dice is trained. You've got a school for it. A D10 is like an expert level, like very, very good. And then a D12 is pretty much the best on the planet. So a D12 strength is literally like the strongest person on the planet normally. It's like strong man competition type stuff for a D12. I got a plus one on that. Yeah, so you need to hide the strength or it's known. Okay. So when so when you when you're in baseball practice with Mr. Haynes, you literally swing like half strength. Just half fastest. And yeah, so because on. if you yeah, went full strength, you'd probably break the bat and have the ball go like it's seven not, miles. It's not that I'm. It's not that I like consciously or or on purpose use half strength. It's just I never have to like. Okay, I all all I have to do is just hit the ball outside of this area. Okay, just swing lightly. There it is. It okay, went over. And then like, hey, throw this. From like I'm a I'm a I'm a fielder I'm a I'm a right fielder, so when when I throw the ball back to base I don't I don't use relays but then again I don't throw it super hard because then the person I'm throwing to wouldn't be able to catch it so like in a in a natural way I just I just I just do it lightly for logical reasons and not because I'm hiding my super strength I I don't consider it like it's hard for me to figure out that I have superpowers. I know that I'm very strong, but like, how do you define super strength, right? Yeah, but just understand, a D6 is considered average, so all the high school students will have D4s and D6s. Very, very few have D8s, and almost no one in the school, especially students, would have a D10. No one would. Um, D8 would be the most that the average, um, or the average would be the 6, but like I said, no one would have a D12. Now, one class, after about 15 minutes, you hear and feel a very, very quick tremor. And then you hear a ah! screaming coming from probably several hallways down. Immediately, Miss Newton snaps her head up in um, shock and fear. Uh, someone's yelling in very, very, very painful yell. I pause my video game and look up. And you see that Miss Newton's uh, like kind of in a panic. She's not kind of very, very unexpected. Her not going to go and going. She's like, uh, 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 get, 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 get someone, get someone. She's pointing at the three of you to go find help. And she's kind of panicking and just dis I'm distress. Scoot over to the door and open up and see what's going on outside. Yeah, I'll t I'll stand up with my sunflower seeds package and then go over to the door. You hear, you hear so... the noise coming 
from the direction of Egg, Mr. Reginald's shop class. It's him yelling. What's he screaming about? God, it's eight in the morning. It's like six. It's not eight in the morning. You're talking about. It's eight in the morning. We've been <laughs> here all night. night. <laughs> it's like six p.m. No, what the fuck kind of schools you guys? Okay, European schools. Um, so the schools you guys end school at two o'clock. So it's probably about two fifteen right now. Oh, yeah, we we ended school often like at we, five we o'clock. A, yeah, that different from us. Like, so. Yeah, we ended like five, six, or seven p.m. Or yeah, it's uh, and it's like seven, it's seven to uh, or it's eight to two in um the U.S. At least when I went, it was eight to two. Wow, you guys cool. have it like our our school days are like eight to fucking five no. every, Dude, every day. Dude, my ex-wife tell you my ex-wife trying Chinese tell me what they do is ridiculous, but it's probably why some of them are smart. But yeah, I'm not gonna go with how dumb we are in this country. But um, yeah, you hear the yelling. Now it's not it's not like a pleasant yelling. It's like a very very pain filled yelling coming from uh, Mr. Reginald's class. I'm going to sneak up to uh, the class, I mean, shop class, and see what's going on in there. As you, as you sneak up, you notice that the hallways are actually really empty. Um, no one really got detention the first week of school, except you freaking idiots. So, <laughs> so no, one's, no one's really around. And you, That's see, we all met. you see that, you remember in the day, Mr. Reginald Wait, talked Billy? about what? Billy got detention too. Oh, Billy never showed up. What a fucking asshole! Wait a minute, you can skip detention. Why are we here? Oh no, he's he's, he's getting suspended for that. So he's finally getting a note to his parents and whatnot. And you see that she was visibly upset that uh, Billy uh, skipped class. She was, she, she was tilted. <laughs> but we don't we don't know about her being called Mrs. Tilt yet. When you take a look into the class, uh, when you look like around the hallways into the room, you see that. In the, the day that you're in Mr. Reginald's class, he's talking about changing, we'll say, he was teaching how to change tires on cars. So what he, is the tension? Why, what is the tension time? Why does he still have classes? He doesn't. He's not having a class yeah. right now. You just hear, you hear me on, though. Uh... So when you look inside, you see that they put uh, an old Volkswagen bus, like one of those old Volkswagen uh, vehicles. He was by the end to change the tire. He just class how to change the tire. Well, when we look in, you notice that the lift that brings up the truck to change the tire, actually, something malfunctioned, mm-hmm. something went wrong. The truck fell down, is pinning them under the truck halfway. But it's not completely down. So he's not, like, crushed, but he's stuck under the truck. But you see, um, it's like hearted. You see no blood. But you see that he's pinned underneath the truck, and he's screaming in pain. So since I'm following Jason and, and Mike is still yeah, Miss Miss Newton like no, you say Miss Newton is not good with uh, emergencies. She's kind of panicking. She's shaking. She I she rushed the three of you out of class to go find help. She did. She pushed me out as well because yeah. I was so focused on writing my essay. Yeah, you still you still have the book up in front of you. Then as you're being like, walked out of class, I say the screams of the guy would be enough to snap you out of the attention. So. So. I would have ignored them. Is is my point. <laughs> I'm just eat- I'm just still eating some flower seeds, and I'm just watching Jason stealthing in. I don't know, I've I've heard blood curdling screams. So I don't know if you guys would be able to ignore that. I mean, I imagine it'll get you guys' attention. Well, I'm not ignoring it. I'm here with Jason. I'm just still it's not this it's open. not that I'm ignoring it because I I know that it's a blood curling scream. I just don't care. Like, I, I'm, I'm a fully... narcissist. Like this is this is actually in my character description. This is my I'm, mental disability. I'm, I'm following along with Ellen. I'm just still casually eating sunflower seeds. Okay, well, still, as the three of you are walking, you look around. You see no uh, no officers. You see no other teachers, but you see Mr. Reginald pinned under the Volkswagen bus. Oh, man, he what is happened? screaming. He goes. Get, get me out! Get, get me out of this! He's trying to push himself, and he's just, he's pinned. He can't push this, uh, it's a, truck. It's in mechanical? Is there a button to press up? It fell off the lift. Oh, Jesus. You know how there's, like, a little, like, screwy thing that you use to, like, lift something up? It toppled over, and then the bus fell. Yeah, we go with that. I, uh, uh, I'm gonna try pushing the truck. Okay. No, he's just gonna grind his leg more. Hey man, four Wait. smarts, what can I do? 
Yeah. Like I, I, I see you trying to do that. I'm like, whoa, 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 what are, they, what are you doing? This is going to hurt him more. Well, how fast am I supposed to get this truck off? It looks like this is the job for me. Hold on, Miss Mister Reginald. I'm going to take care of this. And I woke up to the, uh, woke up to the bus and like in like a corner and try to lift it up. All right. If anyone wants to help or just want to stand back and watch uh, Barry Beef do this, um, do you guys want to help or no? I'm yes, just... that first. Uh, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna chip in and lift my part. All right. I I I'll I'll go uh, to where Jason is and I don't I don't actually have much power so I just pretend like I'm helping. Okay. So uh, Jason, back go ahead and roll your strength real quick. Jason. Yeah. All right. And with that, you strain all your might, Jason, Mike, Mia. You just don't really. You're not really lifting at all. Yeah. And you see just kind of the, the veins pop out of Barry Beef's neck as he strains. And kind of surprising to both Jason and Mia, you don't expect someone to lift a freaking vehicle. But Barry starts to lift this thing, and eventually the tires come off of the ground. And even Mr. Haynes, in his pain, for the, the briefest of moments in his clarity, or maybe the shock of what's going on, sees... Barry Beef lift the Volkswagen truck off of him. Oh, immediately uh, drop um, grip of the truck and drag uh, the teacher out of there. All right, as you lift go, you just feel no difference. Like you weren't even helping at all to what Barry Beef was doing. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, uh, you go and you pull Mr. Uh, Reginald out of the uh, the bottom of the um the truck. And real quick, what's the strength? How much can he lift as a uh... My strength. Um, I think I can deadlift like 500 kilograms at least. So uh, as we succeed, I'm like, uh, well done, team. We did it. We uh, we did a good job. So is he? Um, there's is he a very on? um. There's a very specific table that that, that details how much you can lift. Yeah, I saw. It's uh, looks like the. I don't... Agree, agree with what it says, but it seems to be 400, so. 400 pounds? I forgot about pounds, yeah. Yeah, it's pounds, it's one ton. Of 12, point, 12 plus 1? Yep, so when you get to D12 plus 2, it's 1,000 pounds. Either way, you helped out. You get, you did enough lifting to um, get Mr. Haynes out, uh, Mr. Uh, Reginald. I gently, I gently lower it back on the floor. Well done, team. Well done. And I say, it's all in the legs. Now, to Mia and Jason, this will be the first confirmation you have of Barry being, well, super. Because no, no fucking teenager can do that. There's no superpowers. I'm just big. I just have a bear bill. It's fine. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. There's no person that's going to lift a fucking truck. No teenager's going to be able to do that. Wait, no, wait. Hold on a minute. Didn't you, like, lift small cars and, and repark them as, as a kid? Uh, Are you talking no. in character now? Yeah. Okay, wait, never mind. No, not in character. As in... <laughs> when, when we no, I never looked at any fucking cars, like, no. When, when they were like... No, because they were like super tiny. They weighed like a, a ton maybe or less. So if you got a couple of good strong boys from high school together... Okay. You could like maybe a couple, but one up. guy. I mean, it's going to be pretty obvious to them that you're doing something more than normal. Is that how you stole cars in Poland? It's just one corner. I'm not lifting the entire weight of it. It's just one corner, dude. I'm so, I am not going to believe you're going to lift a fucking corner of a vehicle. I've never seen that in my life, so. Either way, remember that thing is big enough to make it to be known that you're doing something more than... It's going to give them questions in their mind. Wow, you're pretty strong, right? I don't know we had someone this strong in our school. I'm not that strong. What? I mean, I, I think that was a pretty good test of strength you've shown there. I mean, I, Mr. I did my, be I did my Mr. best, but... Mr. Reynolds, are you okay? Uh, he just stares at you, Barry. He goes, how, how, how did you do that? I don't know, I guess... We all pitched in, man. We all pitched in. It was a team effort. 
Yeah, we did, it was we, we did it team. Yeah, oh. it was a, it, team effort. <laughs> I'm really hungry. I, I'm gonna go eat something. It, it was all of us, you know. Uh, he goes, we're, we're the best team. Oh, thank you, thank you. And eventually, you hear from the background, Mr. Reginald, are you okay? And it's gonna be Mrs. Newton. And he goes, Uh, Edna, yes, uh, I'm fine. Edna, oh my god. <laughs> Edna Newton. It was it was balanced weirdly. Like it didn't take much to lift it. Kind of just tipped over. And you see that uh, he goes, yeah, um, but uh, thank you, boys, and Mia, th thank you so much. Uh, I think I'm okay, though. Um, uh, just going to be some heavy bruising. Oh, what are you boys doing here so late? Uh, we got detention. detention. The first week of school? Really? Um... Well, I just... Well, I was just confused about the physics class, but it turns out it was a history class. I'll, I'll That's not the reason for detention, Barry. And with that, you see uh, you Mr. Reginald turn and goes, um, Edna, or Miss Newton, I I think you let these boys go. Um, they, they did more than enough, and she's kind of going... And, mm. and, and girl. <laughs> boys and girl. And she goes, uh, okay. You boys can go. You, you too, Mia. Great. But I want no more acting up in class from you tomorrow. Or, well, Monday. You hear me? I wasn't even acting up. It was an honest question. I was just trying to cheer up my classmates on the first day of school. Uh -huh. I just want to make a friend. And with that, <laughs> Miss Newton turns around and walks away. I mean, I guess that convinced her, right? So, yeah, are, we, are we alone now? Um, yeah. With that, you'll see that uh, Mr. Reginald's still there. Mr. Reginald's kind of just looking at himself. He still stares. He kind of looks at um, Barry long ways every now and then. He's, he's just kind of perplexed by what just happened. Mr. Reginald, you should uh, get that checked out. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go to the doctor, uh, boys. Uh, Mia, can, can you and um, can you three... Go go home. Go go play some video games or do what you want to do. Uh, but uh, thank you, Barry. Thank you. And he he ushers you out of his classroom. And with that, you guys are out of detention. And you have the day to yourself. It's about two thirty in the afternoon on a Friday. Day, on a Friday, so normal school for a couple days. Yo, Barry, how'd you do that? What do you mean? How'd you do that? You just gotta eat a lot so you grow up big and strong. And just eating chips. <laughs> you, you, you think sunflower? I'm eating popcorn IRL right now. Okay, so he's eating, he's eating you popcorn. Guys, you guys, well, I, IRL I am. Yeah, so you're probably eating popcorn as to he just he has a bag of popcorn so, just popping in his mouth as it talks. You guys wanna you guys wanna go grab something to eat? Yeah, sure, man. I'm buying. Oh, can you buy me more sunflower? Oh, so uh, oh. how good do you guys get uh, allowance money? Um, Barry Beef, let me be a persuasion check for your parents or your guardians. Oh, oh no, no, no! Those, this is the baseball money. I wanted, I wanted make made uh, clear. This mm. is completely separate from my regular funds. This is my, this is my food fund. <laughs> food fund. So this is this is not mechanical. Uh, this is not mechanically applicable. Okay, so it's just for just fun stuff. Is, All right. This is just for food. Okay. To justify like my hindrances. All right, just just fluff stuff. Okay, so you have, you have, say you have fluff money to, to go and do that. This fluff money, I'm never going to use it for anything, okay. just except for money, okay. except for food. Okay. Alright, back to you guys. Do we roll persuasion for food allowance? Um, yeah. For, for normal allowance you guys have, go ahead and roll me money. It's persuasion? So it's unskilled uh, is what you're saying. I have D10 persuasion, then I got a 4. Can I roll intimidation instead? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give me my fucking food money. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> let's see. So. Ooh. I exploded. I, not bad. How did my D10 get me D10? No one exploded, though, but no one yeah. failed, which is a good thing. So, y'all get $10 a day for, well, see. Let's we'll see how we do this. Much money. You guys take lunch of school, so. Let's see. We'll make it easy. You guys get 20 bucks a week for allowance. That's not bad. So, everyone okay. go ahead and play the catcher sheets. $20. Okay. 
Y'all want to hit up McDonald's? Yo, you wait. Hey, do we have any KFC? No, in the area? this money though. So right now, this kind of money. If we'll see how it works out with uh, Mike's um, fluff stuff, but I won't. right now, besides that, you guys get. It was you find money or whatever you do, you guys get twenty bucks a week. So okay. I want an actual like a local diner that everybody in school goes to. It's like a super popular place. You know what I mean? Like McDonald's. American pancakes. Like in the morning for breakfast and stuff. Oh, Denny's. You got good burgers in the uh, in the in the in the afternoon when you go after class. You know, they're like the local hangout that all the kids know about. It's like the you know, it's like the heart of the society here. Rodrigo's. So it's I a oh, we'll call him, um... it, it cannot be a non. Red blooded American name. I'm sorry. It's like, Rodrigo's it tofu. Be... It's <laughs> oh god. How oh, those calories? Let's go. It's a, a fusion it's of not, food. It's not a Rodrigo's. You know, okay. You've not been watching Riverdale, right? No. But there's like a little small diner that's pops chocolate uh, chocolate shop, and it's like a. You know, like the classic diner that you have, like, you know, the rows of bench seats uh, 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 along the, you know, the glass window. Yeah, they will say there's the one that's around some people high school that people go to. We'll say it's, a, it's a hole in the wall place, though. But we'll call it Rodrigo's Tofu. Why does it got to be named so stupid? We're in America. Sorry. It doesn't make sense. For, like, if it was, if it was... If it was a Rodrigo's... Alright, who cares? Let's just get on with it. Jesus Christ, I don't care what name it is. It would be, like, full of tortillas and burritos. No, because it's an Asian place. Oh my god. So, you're you're buying, right? Yeah, sure. It's an infusion yeah. of Mexican, Asian, and Southern food. And so... I'm not going there, I'm going to a different diner. <laughs> That's the actual one that I meant to be. All the dads are called Rodrigo's Tofu. All right, let's go to fucking like I, I can, hop or something. Can, can we just go to a Denny's? It's like everything Mike described. Like, sure. I don't care. I don't care what Mike wants. Just get, just fucking get out with it. Go to Denny's. Denny's, it is. Let's go to Denny's that was part of the Denny's chain, but then broke off on its own. <laughs> Alright, what's Benny's? Then you name it, Mike, then. It's Benny's, dude. Let's All go right, Benny's. Benny's. Oh, it's so good. Alright, it's called Benny's. Benny's Diner. Benny's Diner. It fits so much with Savage Worlds as well. Hmm, yeah. Every time we eat at Benny's, we get a Benny. How about that? Uh, no. <laughs> Stock up Benny's at Benny's. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are uh, walking towards the uh, Benny's, which probably be maybe two miles away. It's an easy walk for most people. Maybe not for Barry. What do you mean? How, like, how big are you? Because I keep picture you being a fat kid. How, how big are you actually? What's your physique? I'm not that big. I'm, I'm, I mean, I am very heavy, okay. but I don't look it because I just have a big build. You know, I like a, a bird type okay. build. Yeah, but how tall? Pretty tall, like, I don't know, six something. Well, I'm pretty, oh yeah, you, you guys probably noticed I'm pretty small. Dude, if you're more than six foot in high school, that's fucking ridiculous. I'm like 5'4". Not really. Most of the people, like, I stopped growing when I was already, like, Oh, when I went to high school, I think I was uh, six foot. I was like almost tossed in school. So yeah, you're pretty much going to be one of the tossed in school then. So you, Yeah, you're so just big. The biggest in school. Yeah, and I'm pretty small. I'm like 5'4". They call you the beef. The beef. The beef jerky. The football coach is like fucking unbelievable. Like, he cannot believe that I'm playing baseball instead. And he's like so mad. And he doesn't know. And he does not understand. Oh, it makes sense. All right, so you guys get to uh, Benny's, and uh, you're greeted by the waitress at the door. And goes, "Hey, boys." Hey, Linda. And girl. And girl. <laughs> yep. 
Can I have a, a milkshake, chocolate, and um? Oh, well, let me get you. Let me, uh, me get you a seat first. So you follow to one of the the booths in the other corner of the Benny's. I'll have the usual. Can I have French fries with ketchup? Ah, uh, sure thing. All right, milkshake, the usual for uh, beefy here, and fries, ketchup. And just and 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 what and you know very well that it's uh, uh, two burgers. Buffalo wings and uh, a stack of pancakes. Well, you're not gonna Just say that, syrup. but she's gonna come out with that on the table. You guys are gonna be like, okay, so she comes out after about 15 minutes with your milkshake, your fries, and then just like four plates of food for uh, Barry. Why did I wait 15 minutes for a milkshake? I don't know. You tell this me. Is Benny's. It's called courtesy. They don't serve food. To you gotta go to James across the street to actually get it. At different times. Ah, uh, whatever. At least it's chocolate milkshake, so I'll I'll, I'll let it go. Are you sure you the sucking? Are you Are you sure you're okay with that? Yeah. Are Are you gonna like starve to death or something? No, I, I don't eat very often. I'll just eat when it's necessary. I look at you and like. Like just someone just told me that I don't need to breathe. Yeah, because Mia's yeah. got to be. I mean, she took the small hindrance, so she's got to be really uh, light. Yeah, I'm five four, dude. Yeah, you're like probably ninety pounds. And uh, you know, I I got a sweet tooth, and a girl gotta keep her stature or something like that, whatever girls say, you know. With 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 this little food, what is? Are you are you healthy? Do she? Should yeah, go to a doctor or I, I, I can eat one sandwich and I'm full. I like I look at you like someone just told me that that a man landed on Mars. <laughs> what, what 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 what's with the mouth agape? I d I don't believe that. What, what do you mean? That's ridiculous. Well, like one good sandwich can fill fill me up for a day or a half. I've got to be lying. It's whatever. I'm mean, just like stuffing food in my. I mean, fr from my perspective, the excessive food you have on your table there. <laughs> excessive. This is this is light eating. What? J yeah, I gotta. I gotta watch. I gotta watch after my my uh, my waistline. Is so this... I've, I've been cutting down. Is this a typical like meals for a healthy male or or what? I just look at Barry up and down and like, I don't know. J Jason, <laughs> Jason, do you eat this much? I, I, you can clearly see that I haven't touched a single french fry on my, t on my uh, thing yet. I'm just playing video games. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, and, oh, I, yeah, and I look to you like, are you going to eat that? Oh, yeah, can I have your fries? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go full protective and just take the fries to the side and just <laughs> have my arm around it. Oh, <laughs> get back, wild fiends. My french fry. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Keep the sexual jokes out. What? Keep the sexual jokes out. It's not sexual. She's just drinking milk. Just, I'm just drinking. I'm just saying. Milk don't, don't bring it up. So. <laughs> we're all in like we're all in statutory rape territory. So. I'm not doing anything. I'm just drinking what the milk. What's that shake. supposed to mean? We were 16, we're not legal. So, what do you guys even, like, do as a hobby or something, you know? <laughs> um, well, apparently I play baseball. Oh, you do? You don't look like a baseball player to me. <laughs> well, you're not the first to say that, and uh, I agree with you. What, what's your What's your number? It, like, I know numbers are important, right, on a baseball team? We don't know. That's major league in in high school. We just get numbered by importance of player. Uh, okay, so you're like the the last number, right? Um, number two. Is that really oh, who's number one? Number one is the our ace pitcher. What's his name? Pitcher. Do I don't know. Make it up. <laughs> <You don't... laughs> No, no, like Barry doesn't know. Oh, okay. Just literally doesn't know. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't think Barry cares enough to know anyone else on his team. <laughs> it's the first week of squad, I'll give it that. So, alright, so I guess you got that going for you with all the food you're eating. Ugh, okay, whatever. Uh, so, you know, uh, and I hit like Jason on the shoulder. So, Jason, uh, what are you doing? I speedrun video games and watch anime, yeah. And I, and I like take, 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 you know, after hitting his shoulder, I like take a step back. Oh. What, what kind of video game? You're speed running. <laughs> just show her, I just show her the Switch and it's like I'm playing Super Mario. Oh. I that's wish I had more time to watch anime, but. That, that's the, wait, you, you too? Well, it's so difficult to watch on subtitles when you gotta eat, right? Like, you gotta look down constantly, so I miss half the plot. Right. I see. Um, okay. Yeah, I hate that. Why do you have to speak Japanese every time? It can't be English. And, and, and each time they speak... Oh, no, no, no! Barry, you should watch the dubs instead. They're so much better. Like, they actually speak English. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds kind of awkward to me. Hey, have you ever guys, like, do you guys like the, the old classics, you know, like, like, 90, 90s anime thing? So a hipster, you mean, mean uh, grandma? You mean, like, Xenon Genesis uh, uh, Bible? No, like, like, Spirited off and and, uh, mom's and mom's my moving name castle. and my name and mom's moving castle, you know, those crap. <laughs> you know what? I didn't even put in freaking bootleg. music. Like... Oh, yeah, but <laughs> I like how we're bootlegging the names. <laughs> mom's moving castle, spirited off, <laughs> Gra grave of the mosquitoes. <laughs> My neighbor, the trash man. <laughs> right now, it's like... my neighbor, trash man. I only watch uh, two piece and fairy stories. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. I like to go to goose and uh... <laughs> and uh, and uh, hell sign. Fuck, dude, I'd love to watch Code Goose. Chaz and Link, uh, go and click it because I'm gonna start music uh, momentarily. It's gonna be uh, Innovate Zero Music, so cyberpunk music. Oh, yes. Oh, I've waited fine. years for this. So, I, okay. Well, at least I, I learned something new today. Everyone Sick. seems. Everyone seems to be on the anime craze. And I guess I'm the only one who doesn't really get it all that much. Yeah, I've watched a couple, but it's difficult to keep up with it. And, and as you say that, I like look over you, like keep up, right? Um, like I said, oh, like and I also practice karate on the weekend. What do you? Oh, practice, I... What do you practice karate for? It's a little bit of exercise. It's, I it's, jump it's... up and do a karate pose to defend myself. What do you need defense from? And you like, get snickers and... inside the uh, bennies as you see Jason and Mike do a karate pose. As some adults oh. and some other uh, students are now kind of chuckling and laughing, pointing at uh, Jason and Mike. What a nerd! Uh, I'm not. I'm not affiliated with this person in any way. Please don't look at me the same eyes as you see as him, please. What do you mean? We we came here together. Uh, he's lying. He's clearly uh, he ate too much and he's having. Yeah, sure, Ocean Skipper. What? Ocean Skipper. Oh yeah. Uh, what kind of insult is that? Why don't you come up with something better? I think he's referring to my blonde hair. I'm not really from here. So how does how does that have anything to do with insults? I don't know, I guess it's... I mean, it's, an insult is an insult, but it's not really a good one. 
But it's still an insult. I guess. Who said that, by the way? Because I, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, who said that? That would be Ron. That's in the other end of... Ooh, <laughs> I sit down immediately. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I stand up and I say, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Well, if I can find some my own size, that's you. Wait, wait, that's not what I wanted to say. Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm this is flabbergasted by your, your size. I'm at least three inches longer than you are, buddy. I mean, yeah, and, I, and I'm only five. No, on this planet could be as big as you. I wouldn't be able to find anyone. I was, I was, I, I, I turn, I, I, I turn a little bit to Mia in like, uh, in like the, you know, the like theatrical whisper, and I put my hand to like cover my mouth from his side. I wasn't talking about the height. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I don't get it. But okay, I'll give you a thumbs up for trying to, you know, uh, stand up. For I, uh, I point you know, that I you'll point see, uh, you see Harry and uh, see Harry join up with um, Ron and Hermione directly behind. And then you'll see uh, Novelle uh, come sit down at the table. Novelle. I point at Ron and I say, uh, I lost my train of thought. This is in character, actually. Sure, let's be in character. Um, you, oh yeah, you you guys, no, stop. Go do your bullying somewhere else or something. Yeah, you tell him, Barry. Don't make me sound lame. What? what you, well, I'm helping you. What do you mean? Yeah, mess him up, Barry. Yeah, what he? Whoa, Jason, whoa, Jason, whoa, whoa! Jason, I'm not why... gonna. What are Yo, you? Jason... What are you talking about? Jason, why are you hiding under the table? <laughs> <laughs> J Jason? You see Harry get up, go, what the hell's going on? And you see he get, get like a disgusted look at his face, looking at um, Barry Beef. He goes, <laughs> pulls a big old like, exaggerated <laughs> mouth looking at Barry. And they all start laughing at the table. And you see, yeah, you see right. Ron right about right. to get up and come over, and at that instant, you see one of the waitresses just come by and bring food to um, their table. And I, I look at their food, and I'm like, well, they got good taste, so I can't even yeah. be... Uh, they got, they got, they got like steaks, filet mignons, lobster. Well, wait, wait, before she puts... Who the fuck can afford that? What? And here it comes like, from rich family. They're stealing all their lunch money. <laughs> That's all the money they take from kids. Can, can I do something before she puts the, the food down? Uh, you're really you far away, so I don't know what she's able to do. Uh, is she within 12 feet? Uh. Nope, other side of the diner. So probably about maybe 20, 30. Oh, come on, you're losing my fun. I was gonna make her fall asleep and then make the food run under her faces. You have to think of another time to use that, then. What the fuck? Nah, we go, we'll go, we'll go. Okay, so, we'll set a couple tables over. So, we'll go with, uh, 10 feet. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if I have to use my hand movement for this, but, uh, I'll just, uh, try to imitate, like, I'm brushing my hair, and then have, like, my palm stick for one second and send this um, sleeping infection that does fatigue damage towards the... No, so this is going to be shooting, uh, so things will be coming out of your hands and whatnot, so... Are these going to be visible or non-visible? Because if it's visible, it's going to be just instant giveaway. It should be non -vis it should not be visible, because it's like some ghost okay. ectoplasm right. shit. Okay. So it shouldn't be visible. Alright. Fuck! Can I betty that? You see, you see, if you want to, yeah. Yeah, I'm betting that. I need, I need this to work. There you go. There you go. All right. So I want her to. So I want her like to, uh, as she's going over to them, she'll fall asleep and make the plate full of food. Fall no, over. no, she doesn't fall asleep. You have to do. Uh, you have to do three levels. But what we'll do is, as she's bringing the food oh, over, you see her kind of get a little bit woozy. 
and she accidentally tips one of the her, their tray, and one plate of food falls and just engulfs Hermione in um food. Yes. Well, say it's like a yes, a bunch of noodles and fettuccine Alfredo. It just covers her entire clothing front side in Alfredo, and she yeah, just and I was- kind of like screams and gets up and starts being, oh my god, oh my god, and she rushes out of the um the Bennies. If you look at Barry, he looks like his heart was broken because good <laughs> food went to waste. And I, I, and I start laughing hysterically. And, I, and they have like, oh no, when I look, when I see this happen. And I, and I start laughing hysterically, like, oh my god, she won't be, she won't be tomorrow in. I bet, I bet you that. Barry and Jason, go and give me a notice roll. I already gave him work. Great. Six. Oh, right? okay. Yep. And Barry. Barry, do that minus one for the food you're staring at. Okay, still got it. I did it before. Both of you noticed. <laughs> so, Mia, when you did your power, what'd you do? How'd you do it? So, I was just, like, uh, fixing my hair. And at one point, I turned my hand into, like, a palm for, like, a split second. And I went back to, like, fixing my hair. And y'all noticed this. Yo, I tapped her shoulder. I saw that. What? I'm just fixing my hair. Oh no, I saw the other thing. You did that, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. She was just fixing her hair. Yeah, like, what, what else did I do? I guess I moved my hips a little bit, but that doesn't correlate to my fixing my hair. No, no, I saw, I saw you just with the palm. But what did you saw? I don't know what you're talking. I don't know what I saw, but I saw you did that. Nobody talking? Uh, Ron and Harry and Navelle will leave the place. You'll see a Ron go, see a fatty as he walks out the place before he can do any retaliation. I have, I'm not fat, I am well built. As you just say that to yeah, air because he's already gone. <laughs> he's just big built, big bones. Probably. Right? Um, no, not the bones have nothing to do with it. It's all muscle. What he said. Oh, he's already gone. Whatever. Um, he seems like a big mean boy. Well, he seems he seems fun to tease. You know, he just, I think he he's just getting this influence from his friends or whatever those are. So anyway, uh, well, my milkshake still isn't done, so. <laughs> I barely uh, touched my french fries. Oh yeah, oh, there's cold now, what did you do? They're not cold, they're moist. <laughs> moist? So... Well, moist with sweat? What, what are they moist by? You haven't touched them since they arrived. Uh, sort of soggy. Uh, Barry, you want this? <laughs> do I look fat? Yeah, oh, you want are... this. <laughs> <laughs> So just shove it over to his pot pile of food. Well, uh, sorry guys, it's uh, it's running late and I have to go. Uh, I guess uh, we won't be talking again, or maybe we will be. I don't know. Uh, well, I, I guess um, you're the first two people I know from the school, and uh, we may or may never see each other again. So bye. Take take it easy. If those uh, if those two ever bother you, let me know and I'll tell them to stop. Oh, uh, you don't need to protect me. It's it's okay. I, I've uh, I've got my own uh, you know I've got my own issues that I can solve myself. Thank you. Okay. Uh, By the looks of it, you, your biggest issue is you don't eat much. You're not gonna grow up healthy if you don't. Thanks for the advice, but I know how to keep my physique healthy. Uh, and, I'll, and I run off. What a D10 in pace. Whew! Is that, that good sheet food? Alright, yeah, you see, uh, you see Mia just book it hella fast. Why'd you run? What? what? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? I don't, I don't respond. I'll just keep. I'll just. Run no, I'm not. At, no, but like actually, out of character. Why are you running? Uh, just well, to, I, just 
Do, is is this is there like a particular reason for it? We're just like, hey, I'm fast. Yeah, there is a reason for it. He's probably okay. just showing off. <laughs> Damn, show off. <laughs> no, there is a reason for it. Show off. Okay, with that, Mia goes home for the day. Yo, bear! I swear to God, she did something with her hand. Yeah, so. I mean, yes, you're right. What, well, whatever. I'll see. I'll catch you later, Barry. Gotta Take catch the bus easy. back home. I so I also scoot off. You raised one dollar from six. your uh, character sheet for taking the bus. Mother. Wait, don't we have like a separate allowance for for communication? Wouldn't. Cause that's just, cause that's just shitty. Give your parents use twenty dollars. By the way, you gotta pay for the bus yourself. Well, I'll say that the guys you, where you went is opposite end directions of where uh, Jason Mike lives. Don't I have a bus pass or something? You can buy one for ten dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> Shouldn't we already have no. one? Oh my god! I have a bus pass now. Do you actually buy one? Of course oh, I do. Okay. Same here. Dude. No, actually, I don't. I don't take buses. You are the bus. People ride you. I wouldn't fit. In. Yeah, no, I wouldn't fit in a bus. Yeah, they they charge you double for the bus. Yeah, so I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna skip home. I'm just skip home. Yeah, like there's a big park in the way, so I just hop through the park. Oh, and with that, the. Friday comes to a close. Oh shit, is Saturday a day off? It should be. What, what kind of school are we living where it's like a, a dictatorship where weekends are still school days? China. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Japan. Oh yeah. <laughs> hmm. You know, Saturdays. Well, I'd say we do it on... We, on um... Maybe like just like a special Saturday because it's like first day of school and it's like a yeah. ce celebration. Why why don't we just skip to fucking Monday instead, huh? Yeah, yeah, we should skip. To <laughs> or do you have some like ideas for? I I don't think any of us have any like plan any planned things like on. The I could I could we could redcon. Hey, I got a baseball game on Saturday. Come watch. Come join me and fucking. Yeah, we could make content be in Monday. Join me. It'd be the first day of school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And everyone just say what did what, what, what we did during the weekend. All right. So we're kind of is actually this took place. So this game took place on Monday instead of Friday. Ah oh, damn it. <laughs> it took place the first day of school. And we school. got detention. First day of school, yeah, you guys got detention. That's how we met each other, so that's good. All right, so he comes Tuesday morning. Y'all, so we're gonna skip to Mr. Um, Reginald's class unless you guys want to intervene. Uh, you do something before that. So, say Mr. Reginald's class will be. Um, we'll say it's first period. Make it easy. First class of the uh, school day. Wait, are you, Mr. is Mr. Reginald okay? Is Mr. Reginald okay? He's gonna, he's gonna teach still with that leg. I think he just got painkiller or something. Like, fuck it, let's do it. I don't think that this is this is this is like crushing. This is no joke. Like if he breaks his leg or whatever, he could have like tissue damage that's pretty fucking severe. Okay. Substitute teacher, second day of school, baby. Wow, that didn't take long. One would uh, why well, one would question his uh, cap like ability to teach, uh, given that his safety uh, he was in an accident. And as you guys are talking about this, you guys arrived at class. I guess you guys met up before uh, class. We got the lockers. And once again, you see the same thing. You see Harry, Hermione, and Ron bullying some other uh, students. We'll say this time would be um, most of the Brit is on Dumbledore, as they phrase. Can I, uh, can I intervene? Yeah, let's intervene, man. I'm not, I don't say this out of character. I, by the, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna juke them. By the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk very, 
clearly towards them, but I'm not gonna say anything. And then I'm I, it, like I'm just gonna ch gently change direction as I'm approaching, and then just walk past them to give them a spook. <laughs> like I'm gonna do something, but I'm not doing anything. Just to oh, yeah. like let them know, hey, you know who the boss here is. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I follow. I, I notice what you're doing. I follow pursuit on the left side, and as soon as you switch side, I was like, wait, what are you doing? And then I, I look at the boy, it's like, oh shit, let's go up Very right beast, side give me intimidation. Ooh, let's go. That's not gonna go very well, but... Uh, hold on. Character sheet. Intimidation. Eh! Oh, oh fuck! No. <laughs> look at the amount of rolls here, and look how many times everybody exploded. <laughs> Every roll in the fuck. Oh my god. Alright. Um, who do you want to scare? Which one? Like, what I mean, both of them, clearly. Okay, so you'll just scare, uh, let's call it Harry and Bron. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in their general direction. I'm walking towards them, and then I'm like, I'm not, I'm like, psych, I'm not actually going towards you, I'm just passing by. Okay, so you were actually <laughs> trying to, um,. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not intervening. Okay. I'm just making it look like I'm about to whoop their ass, and I just move. I just move okay. past them. So you see, um, you see Harry turn around, and I'm about to say something right when you change directions, go the other direct, and go away. <laughs> Make him look like a dumbass. You see Harry go to dumb door. And here, take your stupid goblet and throws in this uh, server chalice into his uh, locker that he uses at his table and smashes the locker closed. Look at this stupid stone this guy has, this stupid pet rock. And he drops it on the ground and smashes it with his foot. Pet rock, I like that. Pebble. It was a stone. Heavy. They had the word sorcerer on the side of it. Aww. But now it got crumbled into dust. It's a D&D &D player. Getting bullied. Alright. You head to Mr. Reginald's class, thinking about him probably not going to be there because of the bus falling on him. Hey, 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 hey. Do I know... Do I know where, where like, who, whose locker... Is is like Harry and Ron's? Which which locker is theirs? Right now, no. But you can figure. You can, that could be one of your goals to figure out the locker. I will. I will. I will try to sneak like looks at them from time to time if I'm nearby to see if I can like uh, glean that information. But I'm not gonna like obviously sneak up because I'm not very good at yeah, sneaking so around. You see, uh, you see, you see, Ron and Hermione are talking, laughing. And they go to a bank of the we got the row of lockers, but not to one specifically. And look, they're about to get to one, and then immediately Hermione goes, "Oh, I got the book here," and she gets the book. And her and Ron go to another classroom. So you know, you know, you know and the bank not... of lockers, but which one it exactly is? Well, Hermione's or Ron's, probably Hermione's. Okay, I will continue my investigation over the course of the future. What I'm doing, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to figure out um, which which locker it is, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to gently bend those padlocks a little bit so they get stuck and they can't open. Got it. <laughs> Crush it with my fist. But for the time being, yes, you don't know which one it is. So now we get to Mr. Reginald's class with the thinking that he's probably not going to be there with the incident that happened the previous day. But when you get there, you see that he himself is in class. But he's walking with a limp. Oh shit. He seems to be in a bit of pain. You see him, uh, you see a, a bottle of aspirin on his desk with a glass of water. A bottle of water, but when I have glass. And, uh, I don't think I went with you guys. I'm already at, in the classroom, and you see me just sleeping on the desk. I'm, I'm like I'm following like, very I'm, close by. I'm like I'm like totally like. See, I told you she's not eating enough now. She can't stay. The away. bell rings so for the class to start, and immediately Mr. Reginald looks at you. Barry smiles. He puts his fingers to his lips, 
<laughs> to be quiet. He does that to the entire classroom. And he grabs a frying pan out of the desk and gently walks over to Mia. And he holds a frying pan at desk level. And these are hard, like, um, linoleum floors. Very, very loud. And it just drops the frying pan and just makes a huge noise. And it's going to wake up Mia. So I, I don't actually freak out. I just, like, take a uh, bump my head. I'm like, what? Is it morning yet? <laughs> Oh. As the clap kind of turns around and laughs at uh, the little scenario going on. Everyone's being so annoying today. Why, Why the hell did you take uh, workshop class? Oh, I don't know. It's I thought shop class meant something different. It's, uh, it's just... I guess that makes sense. <laughs> to be honest, I thought I thought the same. <laughs> so, what are you guys' names again? Jusan and Barry? Or did I? Are you are you Jason and you're you're the Barry, right? Yeah, I am the Barry. Yeah, I'm Jason. <laughs> Jason. Hey, Maya. As I just take a seat next to her. Why are you sitting next to me? Sliding into those DMs. Damn right. <laughs> why, why are you sitting next to me? There's no other seats around. What, what do you mean? There's one right over there on the other edge of the classroom. I go and take it. Well, he took it. <laughs> but look, there's... Wait. There's no other seats in it. Oh, Not man. anymore. Yeah. Whatever. I'll just... I just like put my head on on my arm, on, on, on like on my hand as I'm like you know on the desk. Yeah, I put my bag on top of the desk as well, open it up so I can see the switch screen and uh, put my hands in the pocket and start playing. Oh shit, he's already figured out the strats. Can I do I notice the switch? Why? Okay, listen, not a single roll yet. Has not exploded. Can we calm down, boys? No. All right. So, uh, what are you doing? Uh, sorry, I looked up stuff. What are you doing, um, Jason? Oh. All right. Listen. Check this shit out. This is the switch strat. All right. You have a bag. You open it up. You put a switch in there, so it doesn't. You don't notice it. And then you take the switch controllers and put them in your pocket, your hoodie pocket. And then you play I'm games. So without mad. Without anyone dude. noticing. I am so mad. Like, like, why couldn't this be in school when I was in school? <laughs> and and I it makes it makes it. Totally... And no, uh, Mia, you don't notice it at all. Yeah. He's he's Perfect. got a controller. He's got a controller in his pocket while he's playing. You know, you have those like the hoodie that have, that doesn't have a zipper, so that he's like a connected pocket, right? I don't even like... need that. Oh yeah, Hersk. Uh, since since all the commotion and he's taking out his switch, I'm gonna take out my earbuds. Okay. And turn them on. Start listening to some music. Like, you, don't like, to, like, you don't need the stealth earbuds. Everyone can see them. No, no, no. Like, like I will. Like, like. Have you ever had like earbuds going for your? Uh, yeah, you shirt? actually can't hide them. Have, like, the so we'll see if Mr. Uh, Mr. The A. No, you, you can. There he goes. Class, we will now start. No, 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 no. You can yeah. absolutely hide earbuds if you're a girl. Yeah, you can. That's why. I'm... He's gonna roll to see if he sees it. Like I have an earbud going through my shirt, and I'm just like it's it's on the palm of my hand, and I just put it next to my ear. He does you does know? not see. Yeah, it. so he does not see it. With so, you know what I mean. The class starts, and the class goes about, and pretty much you can tell that Mr. Reginald is in pain, and he's doing what he's uh doing the best, teaching about class. Today he's talking about the engines of uh, vehicles and how they work, and for the most part, a lot of people seem bored or whatnot. But at the end of the class, so in the middle, you know, it's at the end of class, as the bell rings, you all start to get up to go on about your day. Mr. Rachel comes up to you, Barry. He goes, Hey, Barry, if you would... I think I have something I want to show you after uh, school today, if you want to come by class. I think something you'd be really interested in. Okay, sure. Alright, alright. 
And bring, bring any friends if you want to, also. Yeah. Alright, and just let's again, f uh, thank you for yesterday. I didn't know I have friends. I'm sleeping on the desk again after the class is over. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm just, hell of yeah. I'm, just, I'm just sleeping with an ear, ear button. He's about, to, he's about to enslave me in, into his, like... It know. was none creepy like Okay. How can you say, meet me up after dark in the... Not after friends. dark, it's after <laughs> school. <Not> creepy. <laughs> 2 p.m. All right, uh, American school squid like. Yeah, that's two. we're going. Two o'clock. Yeah. So maybe at two o'clock after school. Extremely disturbing. No, it feels like after, yeah. maybe at nine o'clock p.m. with your friends. Yeah, that'd be Dude, creepy. I, that'd be creepy, but no. If my if my school if 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 my school life started at eight and ended at two, I'd be a happy man today. Instead, yeah. I'm a fucking depressed sack of sadness. I'm also ha I will also. Well, I'm sorry. Man. Anyways, uh, y'all go about your day, and pretty much it goes um, about normal. Now, there's that one point where class going between people going to lockers between class. But if you want to, Barry, you can try to sneak and see which one um, belongs to Harry, Ron, Hermione, or Navelle. So I don't think that it is a necessity to sneak to look at no. people. I can just pass by. <laughs> Like it's not a secret who's who his like who has hit their locker where like it's not something they're trying to hide. So like by all means, this is technically just public information. So it doesn't require stealthing around to figure. Second it out. day, cool. We'll see which one it belongs to. Go ahead and roll me a D four. Novell Long Bottoms, Novell Long Johns. We'll call him that. Long John? <laughs> They're all Long Johns. Long John Silver, because I've got a yeah. long Yeah, you see the four of them are hanging out, and they're hanging out around uh, Navelle's locker. Navelle's when that goes and actually unlocks the uh, lock, opens up, and just filled with drunken food. There's some uh, snacks in there. Melted is Snickers. Nev is Navelle also, like, part of the bully squad? Yes. Okay. Well... After school. In fact, Navelle is going like, to be a senior. After after school, like when when I'm supposed to go over to Mr. Uh, I forgot his name. Mr. Reginald, the egg. Mr. Reginald, sp thing to like whatever. Like once everybody's already vacated the premises, I will I will attempt to slightly bend the lock to jam it. Okay. With my strength. And then go ahead and give me a spirit check. A spirit check. You smell the open packages of sweets and snacks inside the locker. Oh, damn it. Snickers, candy bars. Oh, hey, Beer, what you doing? Um. Oh, nothing. Is that your locker? I think no. you messed up the locker. What are you using the Benny for? Um... I want to pop okay. in. Yeah, hey, we need to use uh, Benny for that. That's fine. It's, there's very tasty food inside. I can smell it. Can you open it up? Uh, wouldn't that be breaking and entering? I look around. Man, no one's going to care, man. It's just a lock. Well, how am I supposed to open it? Let me help you with that. Are, are we already after after school here, or is this during yeah. a break? All right. Exactly. So I'm gonna come out of the toilet and see if I notice you guys. Yes. And we're not hiding yeah. or anything. But you, you see, I guess you see them uh, standing by not their lockers. I guess because you guys are starting to know each other, you might know whose lockers use between each other. But yes, Mia, you do see that Barry and Jason are around one of not their lockers. Oh, hi guys! What are you doing? Shh, 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 shh. Trying to do something, alright? What, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? Alright, I'm gonna pop my adventure card. Oh shit. At 50. Uh -oh. And gain a d6 in picking. Lock picking. Alright, so I'll play the card so uh, we see how this works. 
I think you're dragging the chat. There you go. Hmm, okay. And uh, hold on. They're not really difficult to break most of the time. Hey, just, you don't have to don't add it to, don't add it to your HC. Um, just can't just roll in chat. No, just roll it. Just roll yeah, just, just roll D6 in chat. I don't, I don't have a D6. Then adjust one. No, just, I'm just, I'm just roll the dice in chat. That's all I gotta do. That's yeah. a D6. Uh, but it does unlock it. So you lockpick it and you hear a click on the lock. Which I'm going, there's plenty of sweets in there. I'm going to justify it to myself mentally that these are stolen anyway. So I'm going to take them. Yeah. You, you, I'm, yeah, I'm loading them into my you, bag. You see, that, you see that it's a full box of like stickers that was actually like pocketed at like a 7-Eleven. Ooh, I love stickers. Can I have them? Or one? Or two? <laughs> I look at you with hatred. And like I'm like... Don't you dare touch my food! But it's it's just one Snickers. Come on. Roll me persuasion check. Come on, man. Be nice. I'll give I'll give Mia a Snickers bar. Oh, thank you. I love Snickers. And there's still like twenty in the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can take the rest. All right, let's, let's get out of here before someone arrives. I, uh, yeah, I've closed the locker now that the food has left the locker and is, and is comfortably in my possession. I would now like to attempt bending the lock to okay. lock it. Yeah, you, you, you automatically, I'm not going to worry about it with your strength. Um, <laughs> I'm going to quickly scoot up into the bathroom. A perfect crime. They'll never find out that anything's been stolen because the locker is never going to be opened again. <laughs> So, why did you even do that for? I mean, we got three Snickers, that's cool. I, uh... Well, I guess the, the bullies are running around bullying others, so I figured, you know, why don't why don't we bully the bullies? Yeah, but who cares? We're, we're not involved. So why, why know, uh... Rubs me the wrong way. These, these are really mean people, and they shouldn't be mean. I guess. Or at least, if you're willing to be mean to someone, you gotta be ready to take it back on the on the on the cheek. If you, if you can't trade blows, then you don't deserve to be in the game. Well, I, I mean, I, I can't argue. That sounds pretty good. And 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 if you want to be the best, you gotta beat the best. So, like, if I want to be the top bully, then I gotta bully the bullies that are the best at the, what they're doing now, because. They're bullies. So, you, you want but to I'm be I'm always the best. So, you... Are you the best? Yes. That, I mean, I just bullied the best bullies, so... I'm, I'm better at them than they are at being bullies. Hmm... Who makes them the best, though? That's the well, question. just because there's no competition, but I'm the competition and I'm better. Oh, I see your intellect and your perception of the entire situation here, um... <laughs> Which is, is there a problem? I mean, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? I get, I mean, I can't, I guess I just don't really care to get involved with your... with how you perceive things. Am I not logistical? Again, sure. I can't argue. I don't really care. As long as, it's not, as I'm not involved, you know, it's... I, I guess as um... we as we walk and talk to Mr. Because I've just seen Deadpool, I keep thinking Reynolds <laughs> and not <laughs> and not whatever his name is. So you want to be the best, right? No, I so don't what... want to be the best. I am the best. So if you're okay, so if you're the best, why don't you show everyone you're the best? No one knows who you are. So what do you mean? You show... well, they don't need to know I'm the best. I know that I'm the best. No, listen. You you are the best, but no one else knows you're the best. So if no one so... else knows, if no one else knows you're the best, no one will perceive you as 
no one will perceive you to be the I best. Don't, I don't care what they perceive me as. I, I I care what I know that I am, and I'm the best. Well, people, well, I think one good tactic you should be doing, or rather, I will advise you to do, is once people revere you as the best, you don't have to, you know, make everyone change their mind because they already know. But I don't care what people think. Why not? Isn't Why would it? I? Well, if you're popular, you can do anything. The lion does not concern himself with the uh, with opinions of the sheep. But if the no. sheep, but if you're popular, you can do whatever you want. You can be bully. You can you can do whatever. I don't care to be popular. I care to be the best, and I already am. So. Well, you know. The, well, you're not the best at being popular. If you don't care about the popularity, see? And uh, I scoot out of the bathroom. Hey, what's going on, guys? You uh, you about. bring up a good point. So you you should strive to become, you know, let people know you're the best, and no one else. No, can. I don't. I don't have to strive to be. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I, I keep. I already am the most popular. Well. That's up to others to decide. I'm, the, I'm no. the best at being popular. I just I just haven't tried yet, you know. Well, show but now me. that now that you've explained this to me, the scales have fallen from my eyes. See, so if you show everyone that you're the best at being popular, you know, no one can complain. You are the best, right? I, I am the best. Of course you are. That's what we can agree on. See, so now we just need to show how, you know, why are you the best, and no one will complain. Well, I'm, I'm the best because I am the best. I don't, I don't think that there's any explanation necessary. Well, yeah, but for example, if they didn't know you, they might not know. Well, that's the, well, that's their problem, isn't it? Yeah, but it's up to you to prove them wrong. I don't need to you prove are... anybody wrong. Well, if you are the best, you have to. The, the heaviness of, of evidence lies on the defense, the, that. I don't know what you're talking about. You, you stop complicating. Man, stop. it's clear that you're not very smart, are, are, are you? Well, I, I do try my best. I'm he clearly out. is, but out of character, Barry is trying to sound smart and he's yeah, failing yeah, yeah. completely. Well, I do have an average grade, you know, you know, just 60 to 70 score. It's not that good, but, you know, I try. Grades doesn't, grades doesn't matter. Oh, what's your yeah, grade? Yeah, that said someone with a grammatical error in that sentence. <laughs> what is your grade, Jason? <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, touchy subject? Shut up. What? And um, with that, you get to Mr. I, Reginald's I, I... class. And the class is empty, but you see the lights are on, and Mr. Reginald is at his desk. And when he sees Barry, he goes, Oh, Barry, Barry! Okay, there's just something I wanted to show you. Hey, Mr. Reynolds. Ah. Why am I here? Oh, ah, well, well I, I think all three of you are in, all three of you in my class. I think you're all be interested in this. I don't know, I just... I just, I just walked here, and then you kind of just tagged along. I don't know yeah, why. Like, like, why are we here? Are, are we... Were we supposed to have a meeting? Did we get the attention again? Oh, no, 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 no. There's, yeah, there's no, no detention. This is, I, I want to show something to, to Barry and to you two, too, also. Uh, ever since yesterday? I think uh, my mom would have murdered me if I got detention again. Oh, no, no. No, there's, there's no detention. I gave a red note to say there's no detention. It's think of it as an uh, after-school activity. Nah. With like a, like a club or uh, something? Yeah, 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 a club. This is how it's so pedophile I'm talking about it now. Versus fucking Alan said that. I never signed up for this. Can I? I never signed up for this. Can I go home? Uh, well, yeah, if you want to, um, Mia. But I, I, I think you'll think you like this also. You only know me for two days. What could you possibly know? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe you'll see something here you like. I mean, I see you not really pay attention to uh, my class. I think you might take it by accident. <laughs> Barry, but... Barry takes the stance of like I'm about to preach the truth, and he's like. Well, you go to school to figure out what you're good at and what you like, so that's kind of the job that we have as children, to, to as kids, to figure out what we're going to be good at. 
as adults. So, yeah, that. What? I I do like a little, I do like a chuckle on the side. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I look at I look at me and I was like, what the fuck did you say? I, I do like a little chuckle on the side, like. <clears throat> Sorry, you got something stuck in there. Uh, yeah, throat. Barry, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I guess you got a point there, Barry. I, you are the best, after all. I am the best. Alright, alright. Thank you for but, noticing. Hey, um... Mia, uh, I, I see that you have that, um... That earring that you're wearing is not quite uh, new. Here, l l let me show you why. And here, come, take off your earring and let me see it. Whoa, that you're sounds not... a little suspicious. You're not gonna steal it, No, 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 of course not, of course not. I called the cops. No, but, <laughs> I'm not gonna steal, I'm not gonna steal it, uh, Mia, here. You just, I'll do it right here. Here, right here. So, he pulls over a desk in in the middle of the room. Door's still open, so he's not trying to be, he's not trying to be creepy-like, I'll put it that way. And he goes, okay, Mia, put your earring on, um, on this desk. Oh, okay. okay. I'll take right, it's we'll say it's is it tarnished. We'll say it's like it's cracked. We'll say the earring is cracked. Okay, cracked. And he goes, okay. So I've been trying to study for the last twenty years about the effects of uh, of well, and he kind of just does anything but gives a good long glance at Barry. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, let me interrupt here. He walks up to the towards the camera. I've been studying superpowers for 20 years! <laughs> he's like recording a video? <laughs> he's, like... oh, he's recording a no, video? No, he's not. No. Oh my god. No, no, no. I mean, I'm making a, I'm making a noir joke. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I see That's what you're saying now. Alright. He's, he's walking, like, he's looking towards the viewers yeah. and like, I've been studying this for 20 years. Finally, the Maltese burger is mine. He goes into uh, his pocket, and pulls out a a pouch, and it's very very small, probably enough to hold maybe um, an ounce of material. And he puts his hand in it, and he sprinkles it seems like salt on the earring. And within a couple of seconds, you see the earring itself actually repair itself. And after about three seconds, about five seconds, it shines like it's brand new. Like some stuff out of video games. Oh, I know this. I think this is the stuff that came from that comet um, that, that years ago. Hey, well, how did you do that? Is this even legal? Should we? Shouldn't we? Like, well, that, 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 that's the thing. I feel like we should. Not be... many people know about this. I mean, I've, there's been some research, but no one's been able to find. We, you don't know about the comet that that went over uh, our planet those years ago. Well, there's been recordings of parts of that comet breaking apart and going through the atmosphere and hitting the planet in other parts. People have looked for those pieces of rock, but no one's ever found them. But I think I might have found one. And you just... Keep me knowing my life is now canon in this world. You just saw what just happened. So um, what, does, what does that mean? You can repair anything in the world? Well, I mean, with this powder, I mean, I haven't really tested on all the things. I've... I did try on my, my my guinea pig at home, but nothing happened with it. I mean, I was, I was maybe I was hoping. Why do you try it on your? Can you repair your leg? Uh, well, yeah, I was, I was gonna say. I, yes. I don't want it justice. I don't know what my my. Uh, uh, <coughs> and he sneezes, and Oof. the powder flies. Not it flies out in a really weird pattern. It doesn't hit any of you, but it coats. It's a workshop. In the workshop, there is a <laughs> a project of the previous year of students making a statue made out of metal. Wait, he sneezes? Yeah, he, he sneezed. I tell, I quickly teleport back. <laughs> <laughs> so, in a, in a big eye, you see, uh, oh, you see, Jason might just disappear he... pretty much. <laughs> oh, oh, did you just sneeze him away? <laughs> wait, wait, he's he's gone. But, you well, well, no, no. Did you kill no, no. Oh Jason God. was okay. So, so maybe it was going towards Jason, and then Jason like vanished. The powder, very, very, it's like a crystalless um, white powder, settles on this workshop statue made of just metallic pipes and Never items. Mind that. 
Mr. Reynolds, you just killed the uh, man. Wait, oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! He's, he starts to panic heavily. Going, oh, 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 where is he? Where is he? I'm over here, stupid. Uh, what? As I'm oh. doing a cool karate pose on top of a, a desk. And you see... <laughs> what are you doing? I, 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 out, of, out of like a, a, a marginal like sense of worry, I completely deflate and like, this is so lame. What are you doing, <laughs> Elbows? What are you? What? I almost got hit by that uh, space dust. Did, wait, wait. Did, did Dustin hit you? You mean you mean you already did that? Oh, what you? And, and then he looks at he looks back and forth at Barry and Jason. Barry, Jason. He looks at Mia. He goes, uh, "Are you one too?" And before he can answer Mia, you hear a creaking noise as metal tears apart and bends. You hear the snapping of the metal as the statue itself comes to life. Oh, it's happening, boys. Is this... I activate Moonlight Edge. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, tell me what they see, uh, Jason I Mike. Another... <laughs> I do another cool karate pose, and I take one flat, and I put my palm and my other hand together. And I pull out a gleaming, glistering, uh, what's it called? A light blue samurai sword from my hand. And I strike another very cool samurai pose. Uh, Mr. Reynolds, I don't think that swords are allowed on school premises. I am not impressed, but that's pretty oh, cool. I'm <clears throat> not impressed. The, uh, what color was the space dust? Glim uh, it's like a grayish white. Yeah, this uh, this thing is also uh, like uh, grayish white. You know, I'm not impressed, but it's not so cool. But I'm not impressed, but it's so cool though. Look at him. He has a a, a ninja sword. Isn't that extremely dangerous? No, I've been practicing for years with this. Watch out for the uh, the golem. Give me a second. I gotta make some stuff. What do you mean? Go go golem. The metal, as I point towards the, the moving metal, it's moving. Watch out! It's a it's a hunk of metal, but it's oh. moving. Um, as you look, it yeah, literally stands up right now, and kind of just stands up like a human being would, and just kind of scans the room, looking around. And Mister Reginald is just kind of jaw dropped, eyes wide, hands at his side, limp, just staring at this thing. And Mr. Reynolds, like, I like pranks, but this is going a little too far. I, I'll walk up to it. Look, it's totally harmless. What is this gonna do? Sneak, like, sneak and with me? that, it immediately takes yeah, a up. swing at you, Mia. Give me a second. And you see Mia. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. We're going to, uh, we need to do the comment tracker, so. <laughs> she turns to. Uh, no, okay, so we'll do that. So it goes to swing at you, Mia. Its arm goes and it's about to strike your head. Yeah, you tell me what you do. Alright. She takes a uh, hit. You, you see Mia just disappear. Like, 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 oh, Miss Mia, I don't feel so good. Well, no, <laughs> Mia, what we talked about, uh, Demo, is your whole body doesn't disappear, just the item, the part that's gonna get hit does. Oh, you wanna do the It doesn't, it doesn't okay, disappear, it kinda like, that. it fades away. But it's still, you can still see it, but it's kinda faded from view. It's not like, fully invisible. I, I was just gonna, like, poof. But like whatever, sure. Uh, yeah, it just goes through my head then. Let him, let him, let him. Well, it, it's, it's your power, power, so you can do it how you want. So if you want your full body to disappear and then come back, you can do that too. It's your power. You know what? I guess because uh, my original body is at home, I'll just, I'll just let the let it let the head go through my head. As I as I make. No, my... don't you mean your origin, original body is in the bathroom? No, it's it's at home. Ah oh, damn! What the fuck? She didn't even come to school, dude. <laughs> what's the, what's the limit on how far you can do this at? No, no, she did come to school in the morning. Yeah, but how had... how far away can you like do the like make those clones act? There's no okay. distance. It's only when I I lose consciousness or I. Uh, that don't seems want extremely around. risky and not really. Well, anyway. Reasonable. I'll, I'll make the head immaterial so it go, the punch goes through me. Oh, she's dead now. Okay. Um. 
Well, no. What happens is... So, do you just take the hit demo, or do you, uh... Okay, so no, she doesn't... She just got, she whiffs away for a second, and then once the arm goes through, she whiffs back. Yeah, so, no, well, I, what I what I mean is, like, she's a ghost, so, like, to me, she's dead. So, what's the, what's the big deal? I turn, I turn to Mr. Reynolds, and I say, despite, I know this Mr. Not Reynolds, but uh, Barry's calling him Mr. Reynolds. Mr. Reynolds, this is not funny anymore. Can I go? Yeah, me a second. <laughs> he just looks at you. Yeah, me a second. Yeah, we're not gonna use a combat tracker, or we're not gonna use a uh, map. I'm just gonna grab this gun here and shoot myself in the head. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> this is a little too much for one night. So, as the statue swings at me, I turn around so I don't see him swinging, and. As he swung, he, he obviously missed, and I just walked back towards you guys. So, the statue is totally harmless. So, you know, this prank, you know, although pretty realistic, I just don't see uh, the appeal, you know, to be honest. What's, how do you calculate throwing damage? Um, I think throwing damage is just going to be the same, the same thing, yeah. Same as punching? There we go. All right. So... Uh, this thing takes a swing at Mia, and its arms goes through her as she pops back in. And yeah, with that, it's gonna start this round of uh, comet. And I and I walked away. I didn't even see him swinging. So I, I turned around as he as the statue swung, and it, it went through me. And I just walked back towards the. All right, well, what's the teacher's name again? Mr. Reginald. <laughs> Mr. Reggie, is this a joke? In a second. DM is abusing Benny's dude. Oh, actually, I get unlimited Bennies. But <laughs> anytime I use a Benny, I give one to the person I was. I give one also to the person I was gonna use it against. Nice. So this is like Star Wars. Hell, except unlimited Bennies. Well, that just doesn't mean power. much. Technically, technically, you have I mean, I'm not gonna abuse it, so I mean, it's well. up to me to not be a dick about it. They just, they just flip. No, 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 no. If, if we get Benny's, by all means, abuse it. More power to us. And more so, fun to the game. Okay, open the combat yeah. tractor, and here is gonna start the first combat of the game superpowers. Let's we'll see how long this lasts. Please let me go first, I can end it in one turn. Are there any. Are there any, like round shaped objects that resemble a baseball listen you're in a the you're in a shop class just like what's it called what's Ooh. the like All right. normal ass planks called again Ball two for fours two by fours yeah two by fours i don't want a two by four i want a round shaped two by four a round shaped object that resembles a baseball pipes they're not round shaped up no, not a baseball bat genius a baseball all right so mia you turned around right when this thing swung at you all right as it goes yeah, to swing at you again i was actually going to go to an actual combat attack so the statue again once again goes and looks at mia and goes to strike wait, no, mia wait wait, wait wait it couldn't swing again because i was moving as it swung in me so i'm already back with, with, the, with the group okay well it comes towards it, it comes towards again. you so okay all right fine it goes. Now yeah, we'll go. I keep it. I keep it while I was going. It goes against you. So, here it goes to you. That is a one. So, I actually want to hit. So I'm gonna use a Benny. So after I use my three Bennies, then you guys start getting uh, more. So. Wait, wait, wait. When can I use the cards? Can I use the? Uh, one? anytime you want. Yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna use the card. What to do? I get everyone. Everyone around me gets plus two parry and plus two toughness. 
Until there's a Joker dealt. Wow, alright. Before it gets dealt immediately. So, so I actually have seven parry. Where's the... Uh, where's so, the no, 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 I'll do my stuff, don't worry about it. Where's no, combat go. tracker? Oh, the toughness is one. There it is. I see the combat tracker now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so strong. <laughs> I am so... literally unkillable at the moment. <laughs> he has 11 parry. This is even my final form. Nice. Ha! Nice attack. But you missed. But you didn't oh hit any of my vital organs. Let me show you your wheel attack. Organ. But you missed all of my vital organs. Let me show you a wheel attack. Alright, so. Is the Benny? Wanna do it again? Come on. Let's do it. Alright. Let's see if it hits. Bullshit. Okay, so now, Delma, you can do your. Uh, if you want to, you can do your thing, or this clone's gonna get popped. Yeah, just okay. Pop it. So with that, this one actually connects against uh, Mia's head, and she literally just poofs in the smoke. Or how do you how do you vanish? How does your clones uh, vanish? Uh, so, as she gets hit in the head, she gets the head hit. the head gets smooched like smudged the, away into up, dust. I the heads, uh, the heads gets hit, and she gets thrown across, uh, the room. No, doesn't get thrown. There's up. actually rules for that, so no, no thrown. No? Okay, so, as she gets hit in the head, uh, there's, like, particles uh, coming out of the, the place where it hit, and she starts, uh, fading as the particles, uh, move towards her whole body, and then she just starts disappearing with glittering lights. She, she, she dies, uh, Infinity War style. Yeah. Okay, but... Except like the place where the place where it hits is like you know like that's where the most sparks are coming from, and then from that point it just spreads. You, you know it goes to the entire okay. Body. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't feel so. All right, good. and yep, she just uh, vanishes. Oh my god, she's dead. Berry beef. <laughs> can berry I wrap? Can Wait, I... berry beef expired. Let's go. Berry beef. <laughs> <laughs> the send on berry beef expired. Dude, the beef expired. I, I expired <laughs> beef. Look at chat. <laughs> I need to get defend again for a second. I've I've expired beef. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good either. <laughs> Hey, enemy this is okay. It's all it's permanent now. Alright. I wanna gonna... grab like a metal ball. I'm sure there's metal balls in a world. Absolutely. And I wanna just pitch at that thing. Okay. Go ahead and give me a throwing roll. I need to I need to make like is it a do I need to make that an attack or something? Uh Let's do this. We'll do. I'm gonna do that a lot. So... Okay. All right. So we'll make it throw. I'm just gonna make it a throw. I'm making it right now. So like, uh, type rate thrown. Oh, there's a special thing for that. Mm. Range. What's the range on throws? I don't know. Let's find out. I'll look it up. But for the time being, this is gonna be short range. Me right next to the damn thing. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Um, and the damage is, uh, what's the damage? It's going to be strength right. plus a d6. Strength plus d6, but there's no, like, I can't modify the damage. Yeah, it applies to me then. Give me a second. It doesn't have a damage. Oh, no, there it is. Hold on, wait. Uh, the strength plus d6. Yep. Oh, so you can just, no, 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 wait. Is it going to yep. work like that? Okay. Hold on. So a parking meter is a D10, so I'm thinking a uh, rock, yeah, or uh, something like that, a D6. Okay, so I I just hope that the like the damage on it is gets modified as well. It should. But we'll see. Uh, 
Do I skip? Uh, you didn't roll the right way, but it does work. What do you mean? Oh, you mean to like yeah. point it at him? That's fine. Go do the damage on him, oh, though. Uh, where is he in the combat track? Statue. Oh, it's the first one. No, it rolls a. Yeah, that, that's a bad roll. Yeah, thing. that just pings off him. That's when he's a Benny. I'm gonna right. Benny. Yeah. <laughs> to be a little more cool. There we go. Holy shit. Unharmed. Yep, this thing literally just it leaves a small dent though in its uh head. Where I mean it's a super hard throw. You hear the pinging of the noise as the uh this this round metal ball smacks into it and it literally crunches the metal ball. No 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 no, no, no. the ball ricochets off and like goes into the ceiling. And then just like leaves a yeah. hole. Yeah, you can actually do ricochet attacks in this game. You can do you can do ricochet attacks. Dude, you can do a fastball. You can pick mm. up a hero and throw him to have him do an attack. There's things you can do with Benny's stuff like that. So we'll go more into it as we play. But you can like you can do Captain America and throw the shield to ricochet off people or ricochet off uh, walls. I cannot believe that I exploded on a D12, and I still didn't harm it. You're really close. Really close. Think about it. Things about a metal. So, metal piercing. Barry, pass turn if you're good. So, Mia, you gotta tell me what you're doing now since uh, your clone went poof. Well, the original plan was the clone that I went to school first and then at some point I switched yeah. and went home. And that's, that was apparent from the personality switch or the tone of the yeah. voice I had. Oh, your so, clones have different personalities? Well, I, I made it. It's a fluff that I put on this thing. And, uh, should I be in the bathroom or should I be at home? Yeah, if bathroom. you're gonna do the whole fucking thing and not be in the game anymore, dude, I mean, seriously. Uh, okay. I'll be in the bathroom. You can, you can, you can Blake yourself right out of this campaign. <laughs> Layla is smiling. Alright, uh. I'll just, I guess, I guess uh, I'll just be like walking slowly towards the scene where the clone disappeared, because the, the the original is lazy as fuck, so uh, I should just be walking slowly. All right, there, there, some turns. So I'll be there. I'll be, yeah, I'll be there in like a few rounds. Okay. That's my. That's Jason, my Mike. All right, just one question: Is attacking an action? Yes. No shit. Thank fucking Christ. All right. Excuse I'm me. going to scream out Mia in the high pitched and the most high pitched oh, yeah. voice you've ever heard. Mia. And as I no. teleport behind the, the statue, <laughs> <laughs> teleport behind him, and I attack and I strike with my moonlight edge. Nothing sort of personal, kid. Sort of justice. And I do it again. <laughs> what? He's not harmed at all! Are you attacking twice? And then do it again! Are you... How are you attacking through? Woo! Oh, he's done it! That's a raise, buddy. Oh, and with that! Shake! With that! Dude, reroll that one. Oh, wow, well, yeah. Uh, well, you can't reroll damage, so... Oh, no, you can yeah. reroll the... Well, no, because you already rolled the damage, so you can't reroll that. But I just rerolled damage. Did you? Ah, I didn't even notice that. Oh no, I... Could I not have been allowed uh, no, to do no, that? No, you don't reroll damage in this game. Yeah, it's, it's only yeah. the hits, not the damage. Well, in that case, can I get my Benny sure. back? There you go, Barry. Thanks! But, so you see <laughs> that, um... Jason does really fast strikes. And the two of them kind of just ricochet off of the... Metallic rebar... Statue, <laughs> but the last one actually no, digs no, in. The first, the first strike dings off. So I do a spin and attack from the other side. It also dings off. Then I get pissed off and just shove it through the, just shove it through the middle, and then it hits. Yeah, you see sparks fly out when he, uh, he does that. All right, Jason, pass your turn. Super fast. Ooh, Jason, Mike, it's you again. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jason Mike oh. again. 
Well, that's that's the turn. first. Yeah. As I adjust my glasses. He had you wear glasses. Oh my god. No, I fake adjust my glasses. <laughs> As I missed my first one. <laughs> Fuck. I ain't I'm doing a, the. I'm a genius of the blade. He missing once. Oof. Oof. Raise it. Come on. Oh, he's a good one. <laughs> Two. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. But I ain't done yet. And I miss. Benny that. Benny that. <laughs> yeah. Isn't he dead already? No, he soaked the damage. Oh fuck. Jesus. <laughs> wow. But I ain't done yet. Wowie. He's blowing Hers it. Oh my god, dude. Hers can't soak Stop. this. Stop. Damn it. Oh, one, three, four, four, one. And, and describe how does how does this go? S I. Teleport as I do a sick backflip and teleport backwards 12 inches. <laughs> 12 inches. As 12 feet, I don't know. Teleports backwards. As I do a sick backflip while doing it, by the way. Oh, Ellen, this, this statue is dead, so tell us how you finish it. Oh, dude. I do the sick backflip and I cut off its head and then I teleport backwards and do a sick karate pose. And I sheath my blade. Wouldn't it be cooler if you just split it in exact two halves? No, Ellen. Don't charge Ellen. me. No, Ellen. You slash at it, and as you, as you sheath your blade, the statue just like gets slid in half. No, you. No, 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 no. Let okay, him. Let him describe no, how he does it. Shut up. Everyone, shut up. I cut. I, I cut it. All right. I teleport backwards. I sheath the blade. As I sheath it, it turns into a million pieces. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, he does that like and he just keeps slashing and, and like into a, a bunch of pieces and then it eventually yeah, it just, just falls keeps... apart just, then It falls apart like in glitter and then I, This is and then like I, anime then, as fuck dude Then at the end, Omaiwa <laughs> And then I, I Then I um, sprint over to the ashes where Mia were And I hold her invisible dead body and I scream out Mia! What do you want? I'm right here you're I, uh, can I can I get a can I get a three seconds in here? Sure, sure. Um, I just like with like a completely fucked expression. Like this, is, my brain has refused to take in any more information. <laughs> like I'm just like, I'm going home, and I like I just walk outside, <laughs> and I go home. <laughs> and, and then you see me like just about to approach the door. What do you want? Um, you see um, a million pieces on the floor. <laughs> Hey, hey, you fucked Mia, me. you're alright? Yeah, I'm I alive. thought you were dead, what happened? Oh, you know, just this and that. <laughs> As Mia walks up to me, like, walks past me, I'm like, ah, oh, such nice weather we have today. <laughs> yeah, like, like, I give up trying to understand. I'm, 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 I'm done, I'm like, I'm, Barry is done. I give Barry, up where are you going? I give up on trying to understand what's going on. Like... I so, wonder what I'll have for dinner. Uh, so, are we... Are we done with the club thing? I'm kinda tired. Uh, uh... Yeah, thank you, Jason Mike. That's... A, oh, this, this is amazing, right. I just... I, 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 I never even... I, 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 I know there's gotta be... People like you that are young, but yeah, that was fun, Mr. Teacher. Anyway, Barry, you want to get something to eat? Eat or what? Uh, mm, maybe All I right. should buy beef. All right, Reginald, I see you uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, again. we'll yeah. Do, we'll do this tomorrow. All right, see you. See ya. Goodbye. <sighs> Man, that Man. was fun. That was so boring. I haven't been able to use my powers in forever. What? Do you, wait. What do you mean powers? Didn't you see what I did? Barry, no. explain it. No, I just got here. Hey, uh, do you like baseball? <laughs> well, any sport that has activity in it, I dislike. Think so. I'll have a game on Saturday. You guys Why? can watch. <laughs> Why do you think I would want to watch an activity sport? Why can't you play like... You hear a... Oh no! And you see Mr. Uh, Reginald come running full blast out of the room. 
like hockey or something. Running, it just sprinting as hard as he can. As the air conditioning turns on in your part, and you see the pieces of metal that Jason Mike just shredded start to filter through the ventilation duct. And whatever it lands on, it pretty much makes come to life. So you have cabinets start to swing open and close back and forth. You have um, doors are closed, start to swing back and forth also. Frank swing chairs get <laughs> loosed out and start flying around the hallways. I yeah, just let's get out of here. I just continue to walk slowly to the exit. Ah, it's a little windy today. <laughs> I pick up me and I run to the exit. Why you pick her up? Excuse yeah. Pick me up? I mean, you know what, dude? You wanna fight Prince this or what? Prince scary. Prince you know scary. What? You know what? I'm so lazy, I let him do it. You... <laughs> Go, wait, hold on. Strength check. See, how strong is Jason Mike? I am... I'm small. I'm very small. I'm 5'4. You can easily pick me up. Yeah, he's fine. I, uh, I see. I see. I see him picking your hair up, so I'm like, I'll get in on this. I'll pick him up while he's picking your hair up. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is a dream. It's like a moving couch, but with no me to myself. And as you rush out of the uh, the front doors of the high school with uh, Mr. Reginald, you see that the entire interior of the high school is going crazy now. As wherever the um, all the million pieces that Jason Mike made when he sliced apart the statue, its own like dust and pieces are now activating any metallic object in that's been it's touching inside the high school. I said the lockers just going yeah. insane. Lockers are flying back and forth, banging. It just a ridiculous amount of noise coming from the high school. And then there's one sad locker that can't open. Guys, I wanna be with you, come on. What's the teacher called again? <laughs> Mr. Reginald. <laughs> Reginald. Oh, Reggie. It, Reggie, I, what, I, what I, are we supposed I, to do? Uh, I, 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 never, I never seen this happen before, I, I, I don't know. And you hear a you large crashing noise coming from in, inside of the high school as you hear what sounds like heavy footsteps now. It's, it's Iron Horse. And you see no, that probably. Volkswagen Beetle come oh, driving oh, out of the high school oh. and then literally transform into a robot. Make a fight, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I haven't seen this before. Like, I, I, I still I have turned, last standing on. I turn to, I turn to uh, Mike and I'm like, okay, I've been trying to ignore this. But it's not working. Hey, look, what, what like is that, this? It's like that movie from that movie that we're cars. Yeah, from. so it's a Volkswagen Beetle bus that transforms into a robot that's no, about was, maybe uh, 15 feet it's, tall. Its tires pop off, the, and they also start to literally roll around and to turn into missiles that are like rolling to strike you. And you all do an attack pose, and yeah, I need to start the session. Ah, well, can we oh. do one all-out in attack for once? I, I was oh, okay, we'll do one attack. I was, I was like... Oh, what's up, uh... I, I was talking to the character when I was mentioning the Transformers scene. I wasn't, like, asking you. Yeah. It's like the ah, cars. It's, 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 it's from the... It's from the Brandsformers movie. Oh, Brandsformers. I'm like... That, that, that movie had too much action for me. Why can't I just be slow and, you know, stuff like that? How do you that? do an all-out attack again? <laughs> I, I, uh... Mickey Vey has directed it, so that's, there's a lot of explosions in there. Oh, yeah, it hurts my eyes, you know? I, I, why can't I just be all slow? I like the movie. <laughs> of course you would. Of course you would. Hey, so... It's are you, how long till we get to my house? So you know you stop. You have to. You can stop. Okay, well, me. this end the session. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. I do tell you. I actually have a really bad headache right now because I didn't eat. Okay. 
Well, that, that was good, I think. So we just start an hour later than I wanted to. XP. Uh. This is shorter than normal, so let's go with, uh. Three. Mm -hmm. no, I'll do it for you, don't worry, do it. Oh, I already, I already did it. Sorry. Damn it. I already did it too. Well, go to three. I, I fixed it. Yeah, Alright, end the stream! Yeah, here.